as you are. Welcome back to Traveler and Rock and Gore. Where last time, the gang made it planetside and got themselves onto a train. Truly, great and noble adventures that will be repeated in song and his forever. God dang. Um, so yes, you took care of some, <laughs> some, some, some logistical problems for, for a fine gentleman who was not polite or helpful at all. And now you're on a train. A train with quite quite a few customers. If I may. You're on the train with uh, mostly humans. And one very strange, large bug man. Who I don't think anyone wants to argue with. Despite the fact that he's carrying one of those big, heavy suitcases. That you would obviously carry something big and, and, and destructive in. You know. Something that could serve as a nuclear bomb suitcase. Or why would keep your plasma rifle. To keep the, 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 the moisture out of the focus lenses. <laughs> <laughs> Good for him, honestly. Let me actually give you the, the full situation. Bo Curtis, who turns out to also be the person driving this train with some other assistant that you won't be seeing unless you intend to climb all the way past the coaches and the intermediary goods trains to the front. Um, so yes, you'll mostly be dealing with the people here, such as Silas and Cora Downs, who are the stewards of this fine, fine vessel. We'll be handing out all the delightful treats of which there are none. This train is cheap. It's rickety. The coaches are... Ooh, let's just say that the seats either have padding that does not make you feel like you're sitting on something comfortable, or there would, and it just doesn't feel all that right. There's a clear distinction of like first and, sec and second class seats, but, well, they're both kind of crummy, regardless. Just in case all that didn't make you uncomfortable enough, there is the fact that the restaurant section, which normally would be a place where there are these round tables with, with cloths on them and these fine chairs you'd be sitting in, again, looks a little... Uh, more more cut edges than your engineer ever has trying to repair a ship that can't be repaired. Mm. By which I mean that you cut that ship apart and strip it for parts. Probably. Well, this is cozy. It is very, very cozy. In front of you are several large goods trains. You know, those big wooden boxes that, that hobos like to ride in. Behind you are some more. Beyond that are all kinds of cattle cars. They're currently empty. Because why would you take cattle to a destination when there are cattle farms out there? Well, you know, maybe exchanges. Like, hey, I got a better special one. You're about it. But that's not happening today. It's really just the passengers. And what people there are. There are two armed individuals. Big and tough. Hands, their thumbs in their jeans as they are, although their 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 act quickly drops when they sit down, and they just start playing cards in the back of the restaurant train. A car. They are a cars on a train. Uh, those people in by themselves briefly introduced themselves, and the train started to take off as Willard and Nicholas. Willard and Nicholas. As okay. I mentioned, there are Silas and Cora Downs, who are the stewards on this upon this fine train. They they carry themselves with a certain elegance and, and je ne sais quoi. Mm. Bo Curtis is unfortunately present. As mentioned, there is the Buckman. And there appear to be well, there's two people who have these uh, there's a duet of individuals who have these metal suitcases and they seem to be clinging to them quite tightly. And they they are they're constantly whispering, and it sounds like scheming of some kind. There's a, a lady who looks, you know, dressed in more modern attire, but practical for the environment. You know, made so that the sand doesn't get in. And also, rain-resistant, presumably. It's got that shiny, slick look. She carries herself with a, a certain air and dignity. And second, and finally, there is a lady who... Just imagine, like, a Southern Belle princess, you know. Fancy lady, but definitely part of the local ecosystem. She looks a little frustrated and keeps giving... Uh, the, the fancy lady in her, in her fancy clothes, uh, uh, look from time to time like, yeah, I don't like you, Wah. What are you all doing? This train ride is at 30 to 40 kilometers per hour, depending on if it's going up or downhill. And you're 800 away, so this is going to take, like, a whole 24 hours. And on, during that time, you're stuck on a crummy train with... Trying to take a nap. You're going to take Am a 24-hour nap. Them? Not a 24-hour nap, just a nap for now. Because we have just arrived from the ship, from the station, from the shuttle. 
You took a you took a nap. You already and took a nap. We, you already slept before you wanted. In there. Yeah, and it's been a while since we started traveling. In fact, it's the next session. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <clears throat> well, all right, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. What's the deal with airline food? This is a train. Aria Reynolds. <laughs> How do you respond to the promise of this long train ride? The view outside is uh, not great. It's 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 it, 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 you've heard of drought, like rumors of drought, and you can see it. the The grass is green near the high tech area where they have fancy irrigation, and it's, it just gets dry and and yellowish the further you go. The air also gets that ooh that sharp dryness to it. Wait, so as in like an uh, uninhabitable, like not uninhabitable dryness or just uncomfortable um just crops ain't living. doing so hot and and wild stock probably isn't doing so good dryness not atmospheric potential danger dryness okay <laughs> imagine the dust bowl. am i already here that's my question presumably Because I missed up, missed us, missed out in the last session. That's what I'm asking. Do you want to make things complicated or not? That's the question I'll ask you. I don't want to make it complicated. Let's go that way. <laughs> then you're already there. Okay. Who knew catching a ride was as easy as just showing up at the last minute? Catching a ride is as easy as catching the ride. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna be like pretending to be looking for hobos, like through the window at those hobo things, but actually low key listening in on the femmes, like not maliciously, just because they are femmes and you can like, like <laughs> trying to see a connection. The femmes. The dignified lady and the southern belt princess. <laughs> As you stick your head out the window. <laughs> To take a look. The thing that strikes your nose, which Arthur wouldn't really be paying attention to. He's already used to this kind of stuff. As would our other local resident engineer. But the air smells horribly, horribly burnt. When you were in town, there was this hint of, like, barbecue. But the fact that this train runs on coal just... You don't get that really anywhere else in the galaxy unless you're looking for it. So your nose just gets slapped with this firm, burnt fumes when you stick your head out. What? Oh, guys, this, oh, oh, this is disgusting. Yeah, it smells like our old cigarettes. You know, the the, re the recycled air from a life support filter cannot match up to the rawness of proper coal smoke. Point is, you decide to try and, and to you try to try to listen and. Um, you can roll me something like stealth or recon as you try to be close, but don't try to draw attention to yourself. Additionally, they're not talking to each other. They, it's just that one of them is constantly like nagging. Grumble, grumble. Yes. Grumble, grumble. Okay. Let me see. Uh huh. Uh. Okay. Since I do not have a stealth, I think recon will do. Mm -hmm. You keep your distance and rely on your keen ears. Nine. Giving a solid listen in to the circumstances, you can tell that this fan Southern Belle is extremely frustrated. Um, she mutters, Gosh, I'm, I'm not a Southern Belle myself, nor am I a vindictive and spiteful person who would sit on the train and just grumble the whole way about someone else. But... <laughs> She, she is like, oh, oh, she thinks she's so much better than me. Look at her and all her fancy, oh, ugh, but she's going to be so impressive to daddy. Mm. Daddy? Well, imagine this with a, with a girl son bell accent, you know? Oh, we got not that, that's not uh -huh, it. Okay. Father. Okay, that kind well, how of you doing? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you get well, it, listen, you, you get it. Yeah. Listen, I know the term is mostly co-opted by the by the BDism movement, but that doesn't mean the term does not still apply to kids who are trying to talk to their parental figures. Or the spoiled Southern Belt stereotype. 
This or just in general, the spoiled it. girl type. They always call their father daddy, no matter who and what. And because they're spoiled brats, they probably also do it to disrespect their mothers. Mm. Well, that's just a bonus. Da -da 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 -da. All right. Yeah. Let's ask ourselves a question. What's Lisa Gecko and Max Drayden? What are you doing as this train is along? Uh, I'm not sure, really. Uh, like, I feel like I wouldn't want to bother the people on the train. This is public transport. You don't just go up to some other random person and go, Hey, what's your life story? That's weird. So, I'm probably just kind of, I don't know, looking hey, around I... the train. Hey, I w and I want to do exactly that. Who was playing cards? And the two... Security guards are throwing cards around, as it were. I don't know about the security. Oh no! Someone has 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 corrupted the innocent Kiryu with more than one kind of daddy. <laughs> that not, whole subquest is great. Do not corrupt <laughs> it, this poor innocent man. Man, why are you like this, Kiryu? Why are you like this? All right. Bit is, at so the end, he's you, you, still you, not even sure what was going on. You, you cozy yourself up to the to, to the to the fine gentleman, Mr. Max. Sure. In that case, cozy up to the fine gentleman. In that case, you decide to have a little little play with him. Unfortunately, I don't think you have the gambling skill, so. These more no. th these individuals have been playing off each other for a while, because you're pretty their sure that they're clearly marked. Yeah, that that that, and and they're clearly like signaling each other from time to time. Mm -hmm. That being said, your your polite little conversation does get you something, which is that they start some some you know they start the low down conversation like oh so what's uh, so so where are you from what what do you do out there what what's so good about it. And any time you say anything even slightly optimistic, they're like, "Oh, so you think you're better than us? You know, the, the, the trouble. They're looking for trouble. You look like you look like trouble." But at the same time, at the same time as this delightful conversation persists, there is there is something that they start let loose, which is that they really don't trust that big bug man. Oh yeah, bug men are terrible. I don't know to what be specific, do about that. To be specific, it's Nicholas who. Gosh, I I, I forgot which one of the two was the good, was the smart one. <laughs> yeah, it was Nicholas who was the the. Nicholas, eventually leans in a little bit and goes, "So, uh, listen, I got, I got my eyes on that bugman. You see him over there, carrying all I those, see. carrying all those big important suitcases. But bugs don't come here. This ain't no place for bugs. Now." Maybe maybe you can do me a solid. I mean, we're gonna be on this train for a while. You might as well cozy up with the people in charge. Cozy up with the people in charge. Mm-hmm. You think he's carrying explosives? No, 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 no. Really, what I all I want you to do is either. You know, distract him or interrogate him. Not that kind of interrogation. I know you all fools just like to think with your big guns. Check his luggage. Just just either buy me a moment to take a look at what he's got or look yourself or just ask us some questions to <coughs> keep him busy. I want to know what's in that case of his. That thing doesn't look like anything, uh, you know, uh, good for common society. That's racist. What makes it, I have a stupid question. Would my skill and any explosives give me any ideas if those suitcases are used usually for explosive shit? No, sure, go ahead. Give me a usually. Give, difficulty is by the way. I think it's, what what's what's below like, uh, gosh. Uh, difficulty is routine. I really need to remember this this list from the top of my head. Well, one of those cases. 
to not for explosives, but one of those cases probably contains explosives. It's got all all the tells. It's got the reinforcements. It, it has the little screws on the the plates that they use to fix the specialized foam on the inside. Okay, don't turn around now. But the case that has extra reinforcements on the sides. By the way, this identification happened blow. earlier because while you all are sitting in the restaurant car, because that's the more comfortable place to be sitting, uh, the bugman refuses to move from the residential section, like the, the, the place where you have those okay, enclosed okay, cabins. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Oh, so private. One of his suitcases could be explosive. It's reinforced. Well, I need a little bit of proof before I can make the necessary apprehensions, if you catch my drift. Some Do you want me to go, go over there and talk explosives with him? Hey, buddy. <laughs> bombs, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, bombs, buddy. huh? So hey, you wanna... so, hey, you want to bang? Like, in an explosive way, not a gateway. My mean, hey, also. I... <laughs> hey, I just met you, but want to talk bombs. What are these conversations? Well, what am I supposed to do with all this? Well, hey there, fellow traveler. I just wanted to say bomb voyage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go talk to the bug. Let's, let's say it that way. I'm going to go talk to the bug. <sighs> You, everyone watches as Max peels off of his exciting gambling game and scoots on over to the first intermediary residential section, which is, so for ordering, <laughs> it is the restaurant in the back, then the private section, then the public large bench seating area, then there's a sleeping cabin area. Or would the sleeping cabin area be in between? Hmm, I'm not too good on sorting. The point is, you wa make your way over there, look through the, the windows which have been... They have been cleaned, but the corners have these large, grimy streaks, so it's like they made some big circles, but oh. didn't they didn't properly clean them. As usual. Mm-hmm. I'm going to just, like, knock on the, the door frame before I enter. Like, oh, is it taken? He gives you a fierce, fierce look. And simply tells you that this this cabin is occupied. Oh, but I wouldn't mind some company. I love having long conversations about stuff. There are talk multiple about stuff. of your kind located in the previous train car. But I don't like my kind. I'm looking for someone else. Then Xenophile, perhaps, boo! <laughs> then perhaps you should have reconsidered your destination planet. My destination planet? I didn't choose it. It shows me. I'm gonna slowly mean? enter at this point. And sit down <laughs> like a friendly neighbor, like that annoying friendly neighbor. So, how long are we traveling? I do not travel in the clo colloquial sense. I am on oh. business. Important That's... busy keeping business. Important busy keeping. How does how does that? work for you. How are you? I want to know about you. Your intents to seduce me will not succeed, human. Oh, I'm not in the season too. I am well aware of your hyperactive libidoistic needs. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, my, my attempt wasn't that seducing. I just really want to know about you. I want to know about all the people. Gosh, here, here, here here's the question. Is he going to give you a sassy remark? But hey. Um, I should, I should take how was your childhood? <laughs> if you wish to learn about the specifics of my ancestral species, I believe you will find better, faster answers on any suitable data network. As for my childhood, I assure you that romantic interest in my specimens is expressed through the locking of horns, not the polite conversation as you insist on doing. So what are you trying to achieve with this with this conversation that is uh, so awkward that I'm pretty sure anyone with the slightest bit of social anxiety would probably faint just getting close to it? <laughs> I'm trying to distract him. 
Listen, I'm not even in the universe and I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to distract him. He is very much aware that he is big daddy material and everyone who ever talks to him always talks about the same thing. Well, um, do you have any social skills that would make it possible for you to just, just keep him going? You know, like diplomat, persuasion. Maybe we've got some of that sneaky sneaky. Have retcon? <laughs> Profession biologicals? No. Um, no, I'm pretty sure that, I'm pretty sure that it's social shit. Okay, then you get just. I can do medical. Also, by the way, I recommend that everyone add one skill and make that they're untrained, which I'm gonna do for Max right now. Put that at minus three, minus whatever, uh, plus whatever your jack of all trades is, so that you always Thanks. have like a, a skill you can use for the the things you can't do. Oh, okay. On that note, since you absolutely blow chunks at this, you can okay. roll me that untrained. And you can use your intellect as you try to woo him. Uh, what is the difficulty? Gosh, he is just not interested at all, is he? <laughs> so let's just go with a, a fanciful difficult. I hope you get lucky. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna fly out a window. <laughs> you gonna... it breaks your spine in half. Game over. Like the bugman, the bugman Harder is gonna even paper you out of the room instead of the other way He's around. He's going to make you a permanent fixture of the room, if anything. Hang you off the wall by your head like a like a deer mount. No, why? It's just gonna be like a scene from Aliens. You now with people in the walls. Well, if you insist. <laughs> I really like that Flanders picture. <laughs> yes. What is Rain's character name, by the way? Erica Yang. There we go. Yeah. We have friends. All right. Okay, so, fun fact. Minus six effect or worse is an exceptional failure. <laughs> you have failed completely. Oh, boy. You have completed as completely as it is possible to fail. Anything that can go wrong, will go wrong. In a social situation, you get in deep trouble. <laughs> Good oh, luck. Man. So, uh, Keep in mind my social is minus one. I personally think that at this point you are lifted, put under his arm, and taken over to security. If you refuse this, he will just go and get security on you. Security, there she's attacking me, somebody help. He holds you out. This human insists on bothering me. Plop. I request that you keep him away from me. And Nicholas gives you a death stare of like what the hell are you doing? Did the bug go away? Once he put you down, he like immediately just leaves. Not interested in dealing with any of this. Humans are gross. They're covered in skin. He just attacked me. You have a full right to check his apartment, right? Oh my goodness, that it's is... It's not an apartment, but it is okay. a cabin. Now, while I appreciate that this is actually a clever way of handling the current situation... But that was my that's idea. That's also racism. <laughs> you're, you're literally <laughs> saying, hey, you're racist, right? Well, I just gave you a reason. Oh no, I didn't mean it that way. I meant it like he physically did... I didn't touch him physically. Point is, Nicholas, Nicholas, Nicholas and Willard, like, they're like, mm hmm. And they, they, they walk over. They're, they're, they're spurred boots clacking and clicking. Well, uh, Max is probably left with, like, an oh no on his face. I'm just gonna sling back with my people. Just <laughs> sit in the back. What well, I mean, your people. Arthur, you were having a nap, wasn't it? Yes. In 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 so in, much has happened in the private in the private cabin area or the the bench area. I assume area? so. I assume so. Uh, it's probably like the nap room. It's probably like no, no there is a sleeping area, but I, I don't mean, know if you want to try your luck just, on those. What I could do is just stand in the corner and lock the joints of the suit. The 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 benefit of the the private cabin area is one you can close the door and two yes. the 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 stuffed leathery like those those pseudo leather plastic things on the plus side they don't go bad as quickly as the beds do 
Good. It's all uphill from here, baby. Yes. You will eventually be woken up by the loud complaints and arguments that are happening further down the hall. Oh no. I'm I'm wa looking out of the window with my arm, like, my hand covering the side of my face, so I'm not seeing. Okay. We're going to shift to someone else. Specifically to the person who was listening in on that little Southern Belle princess. Eric Yang, wasn't it? Yeah, howdy. Uh, so, because you're, you're like, looking away, but listening in at some point, you hear her getting closer, and a second later, you hear, like, tap, 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 tap on your shoulder. Oh? Yeah? You! Hi. You look mm -hmm. like, you know, your way around. Sure. What, what do you need? <laughs> like, this is just reflexive politeness. She points. She stands with one hand on her side, her hand pointing. That that strong, tight posture of someone who's used to giving orders. You see, you see that l lassie over there. Uh, That's Louise Watts. You know what she okay. thinks she is? She thinks she's better. Th she thinks she's better than me. She thinks just because she went to some fancy off old college, she's better than me. Well, that's not accurate. Well, I mean, it ain't. And I want you to show her that's the case. Now, yeah. I happen to have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. My dad's rich, owns a big place, so I can get you some cash. All you have to do for me is make little old Louise feel a little insecure, a little, you know, like she ain't the hottest lady in the town no more. Oh, honey. Oh, hon. Look. When people treat you bad, it's coming from a place of no love for themselves. Making them feel even worse isn't really going to help anything. Are you calling me an idiot? Not at all. Not at all. I'm just saying, if you really want to make her regret it, if you really want to make her feel, you know, inferior, make yourself be better. Make yourself show how, how much better you are rather than showing her how bad she is, because that's just going to make her feel like a victim. <sighs> well, that that's not what I'm asking. And I get what I want. Now, what uh, people say I got to do. Oh, my God. It's, it's J-Rock. Don't like okay, trailer park. then I will try, but don't don't say it and warn you. Don't say it and warn you. I just you just throw some pig so, grease on her. We're covering tar and feathers. Uh, so the money can I get it like a half in front, half after, just you know, to make sure everything's fine with the bank. Erica H, what celebrity is this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you promised her money, you're gonna Why are you bullying her? I had a selection of memes explicitly for that, but none of the players in my games are actually trying to like woo aliens. <laughs> don't, don't so worry, I just posted I everything that I have relevant. Don't worry, I have a plan for this. But it was Max who was but doing also, it. Yeah, it was but Max. Also, look, at but look, as for Bug Daddy, if you spend enough time with aliens, you're just going to get used to it. They're people too. Um, Some of those people don't well, mind that you're covered in skin. Well, while, while yeah. the fancy bell may have at some point given you the money half up front, the fact that you are trying to dissuade her and are being all and not immediately as compliant as possible as she's used to, she's like, no, I want I want to see that you are even capable of doing what you can because you sound to me like you ain't even know what you're doing. Sure, sure. Okay, whatever. So how much is she promising? Just I have an idea. Oh, Listen, you're talking to someone who probably doesn't even know the value of money, so she's just like, I'll give you something good. <clears throat> sure. Okay. Yeah, okay. So you sit in here. D don't interrupt me while I work. And can I, like, wink wonk <laughs> at the rest of the gang? Like, she busy, please. <laughs> Well, I go over to. I don't know if Winx can communicate such a complex emotion. I mean, if y'all are in <laughs> earshot. If y'all are in Winx shot. You can literally just oh. walk over to him and, and, and talk to them. This place is big enough mm -hmm. to have a private conversation in the corner. Ooh, okie doke, okie doke. It's like we're all just huddled at the same little table. Okie doke. By the way, did you know that the reason mm -hmm. that a lot of uh, trains are. A certain width on the wheels just because of how wagon axles were built. 
Yes. Weird, ain't it? Because they have to follow the roads. No, it was because that's what they knew how to make. So they were like, I can make a wagon axle, so I'll make it the, the width of a wagon axle. And a bunch of fucking and idiots have impacted the history since then. Doesn't apply to Rack and Gore. The train is significantly wider than that. In fact, and most people do don't even why? run into that history detail. But then the Soviets and do you know said, why a wagon axle is that big? It's because of a horse's ass. That's just how big it has to be. For I can't believe trains be are big because, because of horse butts. Yes. Yeah, they are. It's a horse's ass. <laughs> anyway, you've gathered up the gang. Are bigger. You've gathered up the gang since Arthur and are now having a fine discussion. Yes. Well, you wanted to gather up the gang and talk to them, right? Yeah, so, hi, guys. I am being offered some money to bully a person on this train. Can y'all just keep the paying customer, you know, a little bit occupied so I can do this my way? We can split, of course. Of course. I'm good at occupying people. That sounds mean. <laughs> oh, I'm not that actually sounds like going parasite to bully talk. anyone. D just don't worry. Don't worry. I'm just using you to, like, help us exploit the rich. You up? Oh. You down? Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm yeah. always up for exploiting the rich. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, can I high-five y'all? Do we have high-fives in space? <laughs> Roll Probably. the high-five. <laughs> Alright, so, w what's what's the plan? So, my for plan... For me, the gym. To... Okay, so... My plan is for the gang to keep the bell occupied, like compliments, bitching, whatever you want. Well, I go to the other lady and say, hi, so this woman offered me money to bully you and make you like feel worse about you. So if you could like look a little bit glum, I'll give you a cut. But just don't tell her. So that's my plan. <laughs> oh my goodness. Because look, <laughs> being, being mean feels mean, you know? <laughs> I'm All on right. board with this plan. All right. <laughs> who's who's going to be doing the distracting around her? Who thinks they can keep this posh lady busy by yelling at her? I can take off my shirt. <laughs> I'll be honest, Listen. that is a very daring maneuver considering that there are other people in this room. <laughs> and considering <laughs> your last <laughs> social exploits. <laughs> You're getting going to get thrown off this train. Hey. Hey, he has a plus one because he has strength. <laughs> He's got the muscle. Like, you can be like, hear ye, hear ye. Who wants to bounce a quarter off this ass? <laughs> okay, I don't I can, even want it. I can, does anyone else want to talk to the bell? That's my first question. Does anyone else want to do the distraction? Uh, I could certainly try. Like, I could like, talk to them. What a... What a Rich people into money. Like flirt with her, yell at her, <laughs> complain about other people with her. Like, be a Karen. Basically, like, oh my god, have you noticed they have not even cleaned the windows right? Like, what is the service? <laughs> all right, all right. So Lisa's gonna be the one doing this. I'll I'll try. Handsome, Lisa. Can, can you roll me diplomat assist? with social standing or intel intellect, depending on which one you wish to employ? Uh, the same bonus, so, uh, eh, eh. <gasps> ah. Don't forget, you get a once precision reroll. If you feel yeah. this is important enough. Yeah, sure. I'm helping someone else out. Might as well. That's yeah, better. Also, um, one, while you can take more time to decrease the difficulty, increase that time frame, um, social situations are one of those where that's not necessarily always the case, because, you know, just because you talk more to someone doesn't mean they want to listen more to you. Yeah, there's not a lot of situations where you can just filibuster your way through a conversation. You literally just mentioned one. The filibuster. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, in that case, you provide a, a, a clean distraction. You also learn, by the way, that the reason this lady is so angry is that she apparently flunked space school, which is what she keeps calling it. Even though you're pretty oh. sure that's not what any school is called. That may be why you flunked it, huh? She's like, oh, my dad paid for this really fancy education. Oh, they kept asking me, how am I supposed to know he asked the questions? She took teach me, right? 101. Back home. Like, Does she have any cosmetic surgery? Oh, here, let me teach you about astrogation. This ship takes you back home. See ya! 
Ugh. All right. All right. And now our other fine, fine lady, Eric Yang, is, is, is slides on over and has a, a little, little chit-chat. Louise Watts sees your non-local clothes, we'll call them, unless you decided to stock up at the local souvenir store. And, nah, I think this space is fine. And, and is immediately interested in just striking up a conversation with you. She talks uh, in very, very big words, which is to say that she and Lisa Gecko might have the same education level. <laughs> actually, wait, let me just double check that. Um, oh, yeah. Um, she's actually slightly more educated than you, but only slightly. It's not a big deal. Wow, that, that's that's saying a lot. No, I'm not not talking about you. Uh, because, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. So the, the thing uses AB. God dang it. Where's the universal character profile thing? I need to pull that one up. <coughs> because I think it Wait, goes. Am I the youngest oh, here we go. The universal personality profile. That's what it's called. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yes, her her education is ten. So she's actually slightly more than Erica, but not that much. It okay. might be twenty six. Yeah. Oh my god, we oh, can actually talk personal. science. So point science. is, she she tries to have this this. She tries to immediately get to like fancy education chit chat oh. about like mechanics, electronics, like proper mm. engineering and all. But you're not here for that, are you? But that's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> right, I have a girl. Oh, I, need to, I need to go talk to her. Getting oh sidetracked from your own mission. Like nerds, nerds, nerds. Yes, yeah, she's having. Okay, okay. She's having. The, she, if you if you don't stop her, she'll have a big nerd out about irrigation systems, weather control device, minor terraforming exploitations, Aww. long range, oh, wide does... array, uh, irrigation and water reclamation systems, as well as geothermal heat dissipation pumps. Oh no, I have biology. Like, what if we could actually cooperate in, like, undust bowl, this dust bowl? Holy sh. Okay, so next time she takes a breath, can I just, like. Listen, if you want to talk about genetics and biology, she's also very interested to talk about genetically modified foods and animals, as well as animal husbandry in general. Oh, have you heard about this breeding program she's been thinking about? <clears throat> oh, oh my no. god. Can you tell me in five minutes? Okay, can you tell me in five minutes? Because, so this other lady. She, uh, for whatever reason, she doesn't really like you, and she said she will pay me to make you feel bad about yourself, but honestly, that doesn't sound very nice. Also, you are very interesting, and I really want to keep this conversation going. So, if you want, we can split that cash. You look like I said something mean, fake a little cry, and then we can just keep going without you... her being all weird. Well, She's in. I get I get what you're trying to do here. I understand what your, yeah. your intent is. Can you roll me diplomat That's... with education? If you want to, you can precede this by a science-related role to give yourself a little extra bonus as you essentially task Jane into it. Like, you impress her with your knowledge first. Like, oh, you're just someone I should trust. You can also use Persuade, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, wait, so what, how does that translate to clicky button? Um, well, so there are two, there's an option I give you, which is you can roll mm -hmm. something like science, biology, or electronics yes. first, and then... If you do good on that role, you get a bonus to the actual role to convince her because she's like, "Oh, I, we had a fun conversation. I like you. I'm more inclined to yeah. listen to what you have to say." I want to be her Facebook friend, and I also want to like connect with her on Space LinkedIn. She seems very nice. Unfortunately, okay, so this planet's mm -hmm. reception is terrible. So after like a couple of hours on this, oh good Jesus Christ! Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, you, you, get, you get a plus two on your role of okay. persuasion or diplomat of or diplomat. And you're allowed to use education instead okay, of intellect sure. for the as attribute. So when you roll it, just Ooh, just just cha okay. don't forget to change your int to edu, and don't forget to add a plus two to the other modifiers. Oh, okay, okay, <coughs> plus two, and it's an average, right? Yep. Okay. Actually, um, um, what? here we go. Ooh, well, it's good that you decided to strike up such a friendly conversation. Hey. Those modifiers might not look like much, but they're, sometimes they're all you need. It's the nerdery. It's the nerdery. So yes, uh, she is inclined to listen to this. But before we do that, Mr. Arthur sitting in the back. You cannot sleep because they're still yelling at each other about this. Um, some things get thrown around. Your eyes drift over to the window as you try to get some sleep. But just why even keep your eyes closed if they're this noisy? People around here ride on horses, but they also ride on these large ostrich-like birds. What the hell, man? Chocobos. You might know what they're called. They're called uh, Kian. 
Kim. It's K I A M. Oh, there's actually apparently pictures of them. Here you go. These are also used as riding animals. Show me. They look handsome. They do. In a way, to remind me of that one we always like the picture you always like to post. Babies. With the mask. It's a bird, but it's an alpaca, and I like it. Uh, hold on, which one? It, I mean, it has it has two two it has too few legs, but hey. You mean my token? Yeah, probably. Point is, you see them all herding the cattle outside. Not a lot of it looks all that great. It's pretty clear that they're not necessarily well fed. And with how dry the sky is, you should be glad that you're in a train that's cooled by the constant blow of the air. And you're wearing a suit that probably could handle temperatures far worse than anything outside, so hey. Hey, I have an AC built in. Como, why did you post elephant that poops out balls that he eats? I don't know. You have to show this to class now. <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay, fine, hold on. So yeah, while I was sleeping. He looked up this to buy. <laughs> I didn't look it up, it's on my feed. That's the problem. Well, after... Subscribe to this artist who is doing like very, very technical drawings of vehicles and spacecraft and everything, because that's neat. And they occasionally reblog shit like that, it's fascinating. They're from Japan, so I guess that explains everything. How come they have all this information, but none of them mention how fast these animals can go? You know, a big important part of... Terran horses. Of course they call them Terran. Why well, call it Earth? Why well, call humanity humanity? Let's put an eye in there, baby! Well, because it's Terran Cognita. <sighs> sure. I mean, who would call their planet dirt? Right. Dirt! Us. We would. I'll live on dirt! <laughs> Miss... Miss Erica Yang, you managed to convince her of wow. your, your, your silly little idea. <gasps> How dare you? How dare you, sir? She's like, you know, I, 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 do, I do pity a lady like her who... I mean, just look at her. She ain't got it all up there in, in the upstairs department if you catch my drift. Yeah... And instead of being just like fine with that and spending her money on enabling research, she's instead of bullying. Like why? That's not gonna make you feel better, hon. Mm, all but the money. I the... tried to tell. All the I money in the world help. ain't gonna fix that drought. Well, it can technically, mm. but she needs me to do it. <laughs> 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 all right. So what? What's what's the plan on how to how how we're gonna play this one off? Okay. So, uh, can you please tell me who is facing, whose face can currently uh, the bell see? Oh, well, she's currently okay. enraptured by Lisa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. But, but like uh, in peripheral vision, can she see either of us? Because probably uh, she's she's playing like the distant attention, if that's important uh -huh, for you. Okay. Okay. So let's pretend we're getting into a disagreement. Get a, you know, raise voices, speak aggressively, just change the facial mimicry, you know, how we uh, gesticulate to make it look a bit tense. Let me be louder, and then if Louise wants, she, you know, fakes some tears and yeets out for like five minutes. Oh my, what deception! Like, make it a little bit dramatic, make it a little bit dramatic. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Momento. Please hold. You know what? Sure. <laughs> no. Um. So you're just gonna make it look like you're you're pissing her off, making her feel like... bad. Yeah, like make like as if she said something worse than I managed to, you know, just make her regret ever opening her mouth. Okay. Basically, okay. We're, okay. We're gotcha, gotcha. Well, yeah. do you happen to have any yeah. good social skills that can help with this, such as something deception based or 
Uh, Any skills that you think might inspire some very creative swears that would impress someone and make you look like you're worth your money instead of just lying out of your ass? So I have a persuade that has that's like a level one. I have. Um, uh, wha- before diplomat- we get there, persuade is one, yeah. not the lying skill. This is important. Um, probably uh-huh. more important than that. Persuade and diplomat diplomat are different. Uh, diplomat Ooh, is like okay. the straight up long term negotiation. Persuasion is like the quick ah. fast talk. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. So it's directly to your subject, not as much about faking to a room. Actually, let me let me let me give some. Oh my goodness, this is funny. Okay. So diplomat has as examples greeting the emperor properly, negotiating a peace ah. treaty, and transmitting a formal surrender. Those take one d six, the one d minutes, one d days, and one d ten seconds. Jesus, what does persuade have under its section? It has bluffing your way past a guard, haggling in the bazaar, intimidating a thug, or asking the alien space princess to marry you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Why did they put that I appreciate in that also. Like that's gonna be amazing. That's so yes, you can probably throw your persuade at this. Yeah, I would. I would indeed. And education, like that. because that that gives you some of those six swears. Hell yeah. Or so, I guess social standing, like if you have a negative, would also help because you know the lower you are in society, the better swears you probably pick up in your life. Crop. Yeah. Oh, I know so many swears. Like swear to be fuck. Okay, I'm rolling. Yeah. Well, that's a ter- That's a thing. That's certainly. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> while you do throw some very good swears out there, um, Louise is n- is not an actor. She she she's oh, just huh. not an actor. Jeez, Louise. Hi, I cannot believe you have done this. I keep looking at Elsa Jacobs' sheet uh, stats, and every single time I'm like, "How the hell does this woman have a twelve in in endurance and like a nine in strength?" <laughs> she grew up in a tough world. I'm beef. Get out of here. Does have a four in intellect and a five in education? So in case you want to know why she's so dumb, there you go. Well, Barely she's tries. Just an eight foot tall Amazonian. I guess she got her education at the gym. Four decks, though. Can't dodge for shit. You'll hit her with these. Although, to be fair, it's probably because she just stands there and yells at you instead of dodging. <laughs> anyway, this... Anyway, the, 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 the... Miss Gecko, your conversation is rudely abrupted by the loud yelling of one of your friends. Oh, my God. <laughs> you might be upset if you weren't already aware that this was part of the plan. However, Louise gives that melodramatic, Oh, woe is me. Why am I being so bullied by this mean old lady? Holy shit! I would believe them. Nailed it. <laughs> to be fair, to, 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 to be fair, Argus, you you be con- you're constantly convinced by sarcasm. So hey, I mean, if the bell said something like this, it would be in character. Listen, I can't I can't get over this transcription. Hi, I'm from dirt. I came to this shelter unit to vomit language. I also enjoy the human hobbies of breathing air and walking with my leg. Singular. <laughs> that's yeah, what snake people. That, that's what a snake person would say because you know it's like oh, it's Horrific. my local it's my local motion unit, right? This this long thing. Tuffy, here here here's a little bit of context to that. Really? <laughs> now you say that, but now I am legally required to pull up the travel suit from Traveler for the yes, dolphins. with the with the dolphins. They hover in little hover cars. Yes. What's neat is that you can make a cyborg dolphin from Johnny Mnemonic. <laughs> Great. Oh my goodness, I think... Oh, this picture looks like it really captures the... Look at this. Look at this. He's got a little grabby hands. Aww. I think I know a woman with lips exactly like this fucking catfish. Little grabby hands. I know hands. it's five. Oh, the dolphin suit. Anyway, don't we actually don't we actually have sentient dolphins? Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, we they do, do yeah, exist we... in the setting. Excellent. Good for them. Just open the room and cool off naturally. Okay, so technically, since you're trying to deceive someone, that's an opposed role. Yeah. However, apparently, she's dumb as a fucking brick. <laughs> 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 Don't tell me. 
And she somehow Until believes she she like Como believes this oh. horrid acting. Oh my god. Oh and she like god. yells, Well, you you tell her what's up. You 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 snooty little brat. Hee how. I'm oh, okay. <laughs> breathing the air. It's not the air. I always say the air. It adds that that okay. je ne sais quoi. I love these wearing sunglasses. What is this deal? Look at those lips. Too cool for school. <laughs> he's, not, he's not wearing them right. I don't know how to feel about that bass, though. He's got a mustache. He's not trimming it. I guess you're not all about that bass. <sighs> well, point is, you've managed to successfully convince this lady. <laughs> with... I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the it's situation okay. in the bug? Uh, you can ask, Ar you can ask Arthur all about it, but uh, things are getting thrown around at this point. Yes. I don't get to sleep, apparently. The I don't not get mm -hmm. to enjoy my afternoon nap. No sleep There's only, oh. there is no sleep, there is only frowning. Yes, exactly. Oh. Uh, I think we should be on our lookout because that bug maybe has a suitcase with explosives. If this blows up, how far away do you have to be from that nut to be blown up? Oh, that depends on what's inside. It could be anything from, oh, it's just going to blow up that section, like a couple of hand grenades, to a nuclear bomb that would probably wipe out this and a sizable portion of the railway. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Odds are, though, that it, like, not, so, so... I recently saw that Tom Scott video about this. Um, it's entirely possible that it just burns if it's ignited by incident. Like, not every explosive is all that sensitive. Hell, some of them require some pretty good stuff to... Oh my goodness, what? My opponent in portal chest when I open it. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess he wins. <laughs> What is the Kaczynski gambit, Arx? Kaczynski. The Kaczynski. Remember the killer? Oh. Do I want to know? Thanks. <laughs> <sighs> Point is... This somehow worked. Yes. What do you do after you've successfully <laughs> driven off the lady who now has to contend with, you know... What's it called? The... the Bumping. The bumping of heads of the, the security and the, the bug people. <laughs> I mean, ultimately, I'm here to do my job. Hopefully. <laughs> Gambit, trick your opponent using an anti-tank guided missile. Yes. Uh, I work I, I, I work on spaceships, Hello, not guys. on human relations. I'll just, I'll just keep to myself unless it becomes a problem, and I'll try to save everybody. At least in the party realize. from getting killed. Now, do I... to... Sorry, talk. Is the Bogman <laughs> doing anything suspicious? Really? Listen, or this, I... have I ever heard anything from the next cabin? I assume that's literally next door. <laughs> Black made their first mistake. What the hell is going on with this video? <laughs> Opening a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it ends with like a, f a video of footage of trains. Point is, the, the the confrontation hasn't turned violent yet. Like the bug seems quite composed about things, but the security personnel is becoming increasingly agitated at the fact that this bugman is not doing anything they want him to and isn't opening the right bags. He's like, oh, here is my bags, and it's like some chitin cleaning products. That's perfect. Did you mean toiletries? Can I... Keep an eye on them, just in case. The human need for toilets is disgusting. Ew. I know, right? That's why... I'm, I'm literally in a spacesuit that looks like a bug. Why not? <laughs> if anything, I should just be Just glue some antennas to <laughs> Jesus. Hello, how do you do, fellow bugman? Hi, are we cousins? No, we're not. What's your name? Who's your dad? Erica, I again ask, what do you do after the conversation has concluded? 
I like uh, dust myself off, you know, very theatrically, and go back to the seven bell and just go satisfied. Well, I think she won't be showing her face anytime soon with how you practically just tore a new one. Mm -hmm. Well, that'll be Structurally true. superfluous new behind. Yeah. And that'll show her not to be mean to other people who have not gone to the same school as her. Gotta, gotta kick those educated ones down a peg. I appreciate that you're trying to schmooze. Um, she, she, she but takes she's out. Rich, oh, doesn't even yes, she takes out the her wallet and produces to oh, you. Shit. So there are there are physical credits. A lot of people like to do it electronically because it's a bit faster and easier for for you. But she has like paper credits because I guess they don't have good credit card machines out there. Mm -hmm. And hands you a one hundred credit bill. Oh hell yeah. Well, thank you. Which is, like... Is that good or is that bad? Um, a fast food joint is two to three credits, so, like, you can compare it to being a dollar. Standard meal costs five to fifty. Accommodation in a cheap hotel is ten. Good hotel is five to fifty. Luxury hotel is a hundred or more. A um, hundred is one-fourth of the total monthly wages of a very poor person. The average earnings in a month is one is twelve hundred, in case that gives some context. So this is good. Is what it's I not bad, but it's not traveler money. Although, to be fair, usually travelers get paid for, like, second multiple-day excursions for a whole team of experts, so the money tends to look bigger. Hey, you can buy I a nice meal with this. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know if I'm capable of pushing my luck. And getting her to do more. Like, I don't know the words to say for that. Honestly, so. she probably has, like, bajillions more. But when you're too rich, the value of money is I can... I, I'm counting the money on my fucking fingers like a child because I don't understand what an actual dollar is worth. <gasps> Wait, I know what happened. So it's like 100 cars is a lot of cars, so $100 is a lot of dollars, right? Like fucking retards. Goddamn. Should I just, like... Like, politely wait with my hand still open. You know... <laughs> See what she does. Yes. The, 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 <laughs> like, to be to be clear, this woman looks like this... She Like, she just gave you a penny in terms of how much mm -hmm. this will financially impact her on any scale. But, yes, yeah, sure. You can wait there. Okay. Okay. You know what? Roll me some persuade. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> and endurance. Persuade endurance, because you're going to wait her out. You're going to make this as uh... awkward as possible. Yeah, I am. I really, really am. <laughs> everyone. Where's everyone else standing during this? I know that Arthur isn't here, but like the rest of the gang is still here. What do you do as, as your friend just stays standing there for like a few minutes, holding their hand out, waiting for more <laughs> money to get put in? Try not to laugh. <laughs> yeah, just like raise an eyebrow and like, well, this is <laughs> this is going to end one of two ways. She puts in like an, the th th there is this protracted moment where she puts in another bill, and then mm -hmm. like ten seconds later another bill, <laughs> <laughs> and then another one. <laughs> At the end so, of five uh, minutes, she just kind of backs off because she thinks she killed you. <laughs> <laughs> this person. Right She's now. like, y'all, mama, I'm gonna go and get a nap. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. If you need any more of such services, please, please, we feel free to find us. Oh, yeah, it's a zombie! Ah! <laughs> it's... How can it speak after it dies? Oh, She's not... yeah. How... <laughs> Have we reached traveler money? <laughs> um... Now, because you were standing stock still to make this work as best as possible, some of the money, like, flew out of your hand as you stood there, like, fell out. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna pick it up. <laughs> no, no, pick it up, pick it up. It was, it was as awkward, and, like, every social convention has been kicked in the dick and thrown over the, the balustrade, as it were. Yeah, it feel, feels right. feels about right. Um, however, by the end of it, you apparently got, like, nine extra bills for a total of a thousand. <laughs> before she decided that she had murdered you somehow. <laughs> So that's... A thousand in total. As for medical and it's in physical bill, currency, so bill. it's easier to spend around here. Yeah. Probably. 
A thousand physical currency. Hell yeah. The worst thing you can the worst thing you can do to parties is pay them with platinum pieces in a place that at best accepts silver. Mm -hmm. It will yeah. not get accepted into any shop. There's also money changing, which as which I actually made this ten percent think like, hey, you gotta change your money, you gotta spend your money, you gotta flow it around in IOUs. Money yeah. please. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so with this money, I would like to split it in equal parts with all of us in the party, and also uh, with Louise. Because, I mean, this was an inconvenience. Arthur. Very yes. Since you are probably most likely to suffer any negative consequences of what's happening very much nearby, um, would you like to roll me a 2d6? 2d6, absolutely. Just to see how that all resolves in... in, in, in... Okay, cool. Well... Um, I guess it resolves in a stalemate. It doesn't res it doesn't resolve in any polite fashion. It doesn't resolve with an explosion. But there is this massive tension between the two as they stare each other down and break apart. Hey, you get to sleep! I guess. Finally. That's all that matters. The rest of the ride is quite unremarkable. Trains are nice. I mean, I like it's a pretty it. shoddy ride, all things considered. Like, at a certain point, you can tell that someone else made this train, this railroad. Did the security go back to their table? Yeah, they went back to their table, so if you want to go playing with them again, they can. I want to go ask them what's happened. They, they give you a glare. So, what you find? Because you kind of agitated the situation. So, what you find? They do not answer. You just get two sets of eyes looking at you like they're about to quick draw and shoot you through the heart. Okay. <laughs> do I go back? Well, that's the most <laughs> okay. Okay. I've heard today. Like, yeah. Like, understandable. Have a nice day. If you're familiar with Wireland 2, I really love that train sound. It's very good. Square waves, <laughs> baby. Yes. All right. New question. Which one of you looks most gun savvy? Hi. Yeah, probably the guy in the giant, yes. like, environment. He looks, looks the most gun savvy, gun yeah. Stuff. Yeah, but unfortunately, I don't think our, our Arthur is going to qualify because he's sleeping. Yeah. <gasps> yes. It has to be someone who's in the restaurant wagon. I mean, could wake me up, too. Good with guns? Gun combat or mechanic, either will qualify. Easy. For this. Easy um, should have, through the connection, some gun training skill. It could also be that you um, simply carry a large gun of some sorts. That would also help. I, I do have a massive gun, like, hidden in a suitcase, what, suitcase thing. Oh, yeah. I've got a rifle. Yeah, a big, <laughs> a big game rifle, yeah. We'll say that good old Area Reynolds is the one who gets suggested. then. Now, just for the sake of reference, Big Game Rifle is still probably packed up. Oh, because remember, yeah. we snuck it out. Oh yeah, I'll need to like assemble it. And... Yeah. <laughs> and I assume Arthur has the bag. Area Reynolds, you are politely at, you at some point are approached by the duo, duo with the fancy suitcases. Ooh. They're like, <clears throat> no, if you'll pardon um, the language. I'm Queen Cock. Uh, Cock. Cock. It's... I'm King Cock. Quinn. King Cock? Quinn Cock. And this is my brother, Glenn. Don't make, um, don't make fun of alien names. We are here on a business trip to sell some fine new ornaments to the locals of Rack and Go, and you happen to have that fine trigger finger that's used to gently squeeze and deliver a single... Would you be interested in looking at some merchandise that we are trying to sell? Just, you know... Either you can purchase, or at the very least tell us if we're presenting it right, because we do like an outsider perspective on our sales pitch before we begin pitching to the locals, as it were. They're like, hey, want to come to a private cabin and take a look at some of the cool shit we got? Yeah. Oh, uh, you got the uh, good uh, shit. Good shit. Uh, uh, yeah. Stranger Danger. <laughs> Candy from Strangers? Like... Was that to all of us, or just one? Just look, to just... area, but they probably won't object if okay. you want to bring someone else in. Look, if if you start having trouble, just holler. I'll bring my own gun show. Right. Lol. L O L. So anyway, they they will take you to a private section, so that you can talk in private. During at which, 
which is it's there specifically, like a little cabin has like a little name tag outside that they plastered on themselves. That's they, great. They they pull out some of the suitcase. Yeah, they put it right in the window too. So when they pull off, it's gonna take like a whole strip of dirt and leave this clean square, probably. When they sit down with you, they they pull out suitcases that they have all over the place. They have a lot with them, and they open it up and ooh, they got some shit, man. They got gauntlet lasers, laser pistols, um, high end stunners, personal defense lasers. You're pretty sure that one of those things is straight up one of the higher end laser rifles too. Shit. Yeah. yeah. So, we're planning to revolutionize weapons technology around here. Now. Rob them. <laughs> you know, it's not a good idea to rob two people when you're by yourself. Just just a quick tip that anyone can recognize makes sense. Yeah. They're probably packing. They are literally showing you the stuff they're packing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They definitely it's... have some for themselves. Would you take a look at this? Look, we even... We found, bought these fine lasers at a premium. We're going to be selling them at a fine premium. So, if you happen to be interested in being at the forefront of the local revolution of ornaments, we're more than willing to sell. In fact, we even have these fine things. And he shows you um, an aerosol grenade, which you from high-tech world would probably know. You can have smoke grenades, but a better version to get rid of lasers is the, the aerosol grenade, which literally just... Gives you ten armor versus laser by soaking them up without blinding your vision in any way. It's hilarious. It's like lasers just stop in midair. Point is, he he he's trying to sell you on these fine tools. The no, downside is he's charging you double for them. I'm Commander Shepard. This is my favorite laser gun on Rack and Gold. I have. I have some cash, but I don't think I have double laser cash. So the personal Cause... defense laser would be like 12,000. The high-end stunner would be like 2,000. If you want the laser pistol, that's 6,000 if you want it. 6,000 for a laser pistol, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, they're charging Yeah, they're charging double. Hey, the gauntlet laser is only 5,000. You, you can wear it as a wristband. Best, best thing in Fallout 2 is joining one of the families in New Reno and getting a laser pistol. So Is that child manning a train while asleep? That's illegal. <laughs> like I, I get I that mean... these lasers have, like, well, I guess I'm trying to be more, you know, ad, like, advisory that uh, on a low tech world like this, like, you aren't gonna be able to find a lot of laser, like, a place to that has enough power to like recharge these laser weaponry. Okay, Arya, I know that you don't, you don't have a lot of, like, knowledge with electronic weaponry, but you do know that there are several massive problems with them selling these weapons. Yeah. The first, is probably most world. important, is they probably can't maintain these things. Yes. Well, they yeah, have... well, yes. <laughs> and yes, they have, probably wouldn't have the recharge technology or the backup power packs or the training to use them because lasers are very weird to fire compared to conventional firearms. Exactly. So, to put it bluntly, together with these insane... Like, the, the world's suffering a drought, right? Their economy can't be doing too well. Why would, who, who do they think they're going to be able to sell this crap to? Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, what well, I would point out. But if that does there. not prevent them from looking at you with these big starry eyes of like, well off, well off, Walter, what are you buying? <laughs> I'll buy it for a high price. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, if, if if Arthur was there, they would read them a lecture about how they fucked up coming to it. What, what was again? Uh, technology level 3 planet yes. with like technology level 12 weapons. The lasers are 9 and 10. 9 and 10, fair enough. Earth is implied to be around 8, 7. Like our Earth. Nice. Oh, so, so, so... Uh, by the way, for quick context, if you go and look, I don't have gun combat energy. Don't forget that gun combat is a specialization. If you have gun combat in anything, you have zero in everything else, at the very least. Yeah. yeah. And I'm probably somewhat trained in them because, you know, they're good in, like... Point is, they, they, they will offer you their goods, but if you're not interested, you're not interested. They're just like, hey, you look like you would properly appreciate and market our wares for us. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, yeah, whilst this is very impressive... 
They're making Jeez. it more impressive because Glenn apparently is very good. Uh, if you've ever seen that Revolver Ocelot moment where he does the, the cool revolver spin, <laughs> that's... Well, it. shuts. Glenn is capable of doing that, by the looks of it. You mean the best scene in Metal Gear? <laughs> <laughs> like, he's just spinning that revolver like it's a freaking uh, discus. How much do you say? Stunner uh, the high-end stunner, which I will give you all the details for now. Uh, tech level 12, uh, range of 10 meters, D3 da uh, 3D damage. Uh, weighs only half a kilogram, so that's nice, which is a pound, I think. Uh, for 2,000, has a magazine of 100 shots, because take a fucking guess, the batteries in these things are massive. Very good. Um, yeah, I'll, t I'll take that stunner, because it's always nice to have something that will kill someone. Yeah. You. I mean, to be fair, killing someone in this system is and I like this a lot, is hugely accidental. Because people go unconscious if you deplete two physical stats. And and they only die if you deplete the third. So you have to do too much damage for that to happen. Which I think is hilarious. So basically it's Pokemon. So basically it's Pokemon. Mm -hmm. They just faint and go yeah. to Nurse Joy. I love that. I think that with Stunners, the stun thing means that if you reduce their endurance to zero, they fall unconscious because it's like... Brrr. Yeah. Which to be fair actually makes them more dangerous. I just now realized that I'm walking with a huge ass sword on my back. I assume you have some sort of suppressor for it, or, or like a, or, or, or a sheath. Excuse me, suppressor. Yeah, the suppressor. You know, to make your gut, you make your sword <laughs> slash quieter. A sheath is the word. It's all sorts of as. Uh, while they're selling you on this, they almost immediately switch over to. Hmm, would you like to buy a laser sight? Enhance your ability to aim this thing. Ooh. Good boy. I am. Fairly com confident in my ability to aim. Bech. He sold you two laser guns for one for the price of one. It's only one for the price of two. Yeah. No, you have a laser gun. A laser gun. On this harmless, you just you can still blind people with it though. Anyway, yes, you, you you purchase this weapon and they're like, mm, "Look, we got it. We're gonna we're gonna be rich. We're gonna be making off like banditos." And from there, we'll say that the ride continues. Enough intermediary fun stuff. Unless you want to ask any follow-up questions, Arya. Does maybe give him some business advice. Uh, Max, you were asking? The, do laser guns do extra damage to cats? No, but they're distracting more. Well, they're they're more distracting, okay. I mean, you should buy a laser sight, not an actual laser gun. <laughs> laser guns don't last long enough to get cats' attention. Unless you're very, very, That's very true. invested. Laser sights. Laser sights would do more. Okay, okay. Ah, here we go. Let's get to the fun part. Baby! The train ride continues otherwise normally. The day goes on, the sun begins to set in the distance. At some point, you begin to realize that, Jesus Christ, this is boring. There is no TV, there's no band, there's nothing. It's just the constant sound of the train. The, the food they serve is mm, just some stew and fresh bread. Or if you want to, you can buy a Starship-grade meal, like those MREs, but they're so expensive. And the beds are not great. They're they're they are moldy and stuffy. It's like, ugh. oh ew. Ugh. There are some stops for firewood and coal and water, but ugh. ugh. Unless you want to stop at a tourist trap, at best. It's, you can stretch your legs on the way there. At some point, however, during the last 200 kilometers, like the last fourth of the ride, mm -hmm. the ride changes dramatically. Before the rail was like, this doesn't get maintained. Now you're on a rail that's like, this hasn't been maintained since it was laid 20 centuries ago and the eons forgotten by time. Because, whoa. We're going to die. Every time you go across a bridge, which doesn't happen that often, but every bridge is this awful moment where you're like, this bridge can't possibly hold the train, can it? <laughs> and this is also where you suddenly pick up on something else. Oh, well. I think what? Arthur is the first one to feel this because of his mechanical background. But anyone else might start to feel this as well. Something 
bad is happening to the train. Um, oh. It starts off with this distant <laughs> sound. <laughs> and at some point you realize, you will be forced to realize, because the car you're in starts to slightly shake because of it, that one of the, tr the train cars way in the back is like shaking side to side slightly. Like physically, wheels are leaving the ground as it goes. Those Can I out. roll mechanic to realize what happened? Sabotage or just a mistake? Um, considering Likewise. how bad this train is, sabotage and just poor maintenance are basically the same thing. It's someone's <laughs> fault. <Yeah. laughs> I'd like to Can go to the head car, to the locomotive, and I would like to tell the mechanic over there to slow it down a little bit. Otherwise, we're going to derail. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go run to the back ones, maybe, to see what's happening there. As okay, let's just resolve this one by one by one. Yeah. At this point, the restaurant car starts to vibrate a bit, and some of the people who are still there, who are at this point just reading what they have with them or looking outside, uh, they begin to become nervous. Um, Arthur, you try to climb forward. Unfortunately, the last car, which is the, 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 the we'll say that's the sleeping car, is in, behind several large goods trains. Climbing over or around them isn't the easiest thing in the world. All right, what would I need to roll to get by that? How do you want to get past it? What's, what's your approach? Uh, I've been thinking... Hmm, if it's just the standard... It's a wooden car, no, by the like... way. It's wooden reinforced right. at the frame with metal. Right, that makes sense. There's, Is there a passageway through it? Because I assume the drivers would also need to eat. If not, I'll just climb over the little ladder on the side and just go on top of it. Did I just hear someone hit some metal? Like, king, 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 king? Hmm? I might have, because my table's falling apart. <laughs> just like this train! <laughs> Um, there is a rickety set of rusty iron bars that stick out of the back of the good strain that let you climb on top of it. Fair enough. Will they hold me? Because I have some extra extra weight on me. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, you have a... Ah, uh, risky business. You're not too sure. I'll, I'll try it. All right, all right, all right. All right there, Mr. No. Arthur Asimov. Good name, though. Uh, so once you're on top, I just want to know this because this influences how things are going to work out. Once you're on top, how do you get across? Do you stay low to the ground? Are you going to try to land down? This, this whole thing is shaking apart. I'm just going to be low to the ground. Okie dokie. And considering it's rickety and wooden, I'm just going to go prone. And Can you roll me some athletics up. strength? It is a difficult task, yes. for you are on top of a moving train. Yes. Ooh. Let me just double check. I think I'm... What the hell am I hearing? There's lots of weird sounds happening. It rain's microphone being correctly sometimes. Is There's a lot of shit happening there. Rain, are you okay? Nothing. I, I'm just vibing, but I'm, I'm cutting out stuff from magazines for collages. That, that's the extent. And All right. that's what I keep hearing, okay. Remember earlier when you fiddled with the um, Activision? Activation threshold on your mic, you could bump it up a mm -hmm. little bit, input sensitivity a little bit up. Okay, Arthur, so y'all are my interference. I'm gonna give you two. I'm gonna give you an offer. This mm -hmm. can go one of two ways, and it depends kind of on your character. So you get to decide. You can mm -hmm. make it to the end of the goods trains, sort of. You can make it to the last one, and then you'll crash mm -hmm. to the ceiling by your arrogance by, by brushing it too hard. Mm -hmm. Or you can take it so slow that you don't really get anywhere. You'll just be stuck in like the middle cargo uh, car. As, as large water refueling nuzzles fly overhead. I'll probably just take it slowly. Nice and easy. Max, you go out the back of the, the restaurant back. car and are immediately greeted by a goods car, which is followed by lots and lots of cattle cars, which, by the way, they don't smell good. Even from here, you can already pick up the smell of it. There's no cattle in them, but they still smell bad, because, hey, whoever... Is cattle... Oh, it's, it's empty. Okay, I'm pushing through them. There are no cows, so I want to know how do you make your way to the to the offending car in question? 
uh, I, I can't go through the cards, right? Uh, the goods or car is like obstructing most of your ability to move, and even the 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 car cargo cars are a problem in terms of how sturdy they are. Can I? Is there a way to climb on top of them? So the the the, the cattle cars are. I imagine that they're pretty simple. They're just like covered, but they have this low waist high wall to keep the cattle in. Yeah. So you can sort of hurdle them. What I want to know is how fast are you taking this? Are you, are you rushing back there? Are you taking it nice and easy? Are you climbing over slowly, or are you just going to jump them like a hurdler? I'm going to... Medium urgency. <laughs> medium urgency is the speed I'm taking. How do you like your emergency? Medium rare. Yes, exactly. Absolutely hilarious. I'm just going to look up one specific thing one more time, because honestly... Where is it? Where's oh, athletics isn't even on the quick selection list. How mean! Astrogation. Now, something that, something that Arthur might have told you before is that maybe somebody just pulled the emergency train stop, so that's why it's wobbling so much. That's why I went back to check. I have yeah. mechanic. I'm gonna see what I get there. Thank you, though. Athletics. The the travelers are trained athlete and they're physically fit. So if you don't have this, you're implied to not be physically fit. <laughs> I'm not physically fit. Okay. I think I'm though, yeah, the, the way this is described uh, is that it only augments. So I'm just gonna say that untrained doesn't really apply because it's just basic moving stuff. It's not so complex. All right, you get to roll me your strength as you make your way back, nice and slow, keeping on. The shaking gets worse the further you go. Difficulties. We'll go with uh, normal, because you're taking a little bit of time. Average. Oh my god. <laughs> now, to be fair, because of how these things are connected, it is it does take some effort to really get anywhere. So, you're slowly making progress, but man, hurdling was probably not the best idea. You would have fallen right off. In the meantime, the people remaining behind inside of the restaurant car, if they remain behind the restaurant car, will have to contend with the fact that the people are becoming increasingly nervous... Primarily because Nicholas brings up a detail. Namely, that this car shaking isn't too unremarkable. But if it continues until an upcoming bridge, like the bridges are bad enough. If this keeps going and you go over a bridge, this whole train is going to get dragged down. Okay, I need to deattach this for that last one just to be stabilized. Max, you've already done stuff. Um, the people know, remaining behind in the restaurant car, you have to deal with the fact that people are becoming <laughs> nervous. Increasingly so. I mean, I'm also mm. becoming nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Could we try and calm them down? Like, uh, are the stewards here? The service boys? The stewards, the stewards too, are uh, not in the best mental condition right now. <laughs> They're crying. They're not okay. used to this. <laughs> I mean, nobody's used to it. It's it's trains falling apart. Uh, could I try to just hmm, convince people that we still have a chance because my good good associates are on the job of fixing this entire mess? Arya and Lisa, anything, Dad? Uh, I can probably help with that. Like, I'd yeah. like to if... keep everyone as calm as possible and stop, you know, something. Becoming have, worse yeah. by them freaking out. That and also like we can ask if okay, do we have any more mechanics in here? Anybody who can help? Are we all, you know, here and not in any super dangerous? Oh, by the way, one areas. quick thing. While mm -hmm. you probably have an own personal comms, while you can't contact someone off planet or even at the spaceport at this point, you do have the possibility mm -hmm. to make local networks up to a few oh, water meters. Cool. So. You can still buzz yep. it, ring each other up, as it were. Okay. A radio transceiver. Yep. Because, you know, travelers go places. You might as well buy something that works. All right. Well, that's so, going to be helpful. So if you want to, you can make this a task chain. And both of you get to roll me, and then we'll add them all together and see how this goes. Heck yeah. You up for it? I'll let you, sure. well, I'll let you present whatever skill you think is relevant and whatever attribute you think is relevant. I'll tell you if, if that works or not. Oh, group work. Yeah, let me tech support you over the radio. So who wants to do the first uh, roll of, of calming? Uh, what would be... 
relevant. Like you said before, diplomat isn't really that kind of situation. That's a long-term well, it, it, thing. Yeah, it's more a formal, polite thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Persuade? Yep. I mean... I could use... <laughs> I, I have use one steward. point of diplomacy if you need drinks. Steward <laughs> technically would work, because that is like herding sheep, effectively. <laughs> I can give that a go. <laughs> you got it. Uh, eh. Nope. Eh. Actually, that's a zero because right now things aren't all that bad looking. Things get worse the longer it goes on and the closer that train gets, so. Zero. You get no benefits on this roll, but hey, at least I didn't make it worse. That's. that's solid. I tried. You did. And it matters. So what do you do? Okay. Lisa or? You, probably. You're the next in the chain. Ooh, okay. So, hmm. is there a way for me to shore up Lisa's role? Or do I have to do my no, own? No, no, no. You're, you're, she did something to shore up your role. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm a fool. Um, okay. Uh, how to calm down a pack of freaked out people. Can I, like, <laughs> uh, can I, like, tell them that we are working on it? And I, I if assume... we have any mechanics and stuff? I, yeah? I assume that's what you're going for, yes. But yeah, like I said, so that's... What... Yeah. So, um, I'm thinking persuade for sure. this, because... Draw me some persuade. Uh, okay, just the regular one. Yes, you can use intellect or social standing. Either you convince them by just being polite and assertive, or mm. by 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 pulling rank, which is easy to do when you're used to it. Ooh, ooh, yike! That's a something. <laughs> you're we ain't doing too like well. I mentioned, like I mentioned, though, this is a this is a routine thing because they're not that nervous yet, so that technically succeeds. <laughs> you manage to calm them okay. down for now. Stay reasonable. Stay calm. Okay. Arthur, you are climbing closer okay. to the front of the train, and you are slowly making progress. Can I see where the bridge is? Um, it's from it's quite I'm... it's quite a distance away. It's like a couple of minutes. All right, from here. fair enough. Then I'll be t I'll continue taking it easy because I don't want to also damage the train. All right, then another athletic roll, strength. You're taking your time, so yes, give yourself a bonus. Let's try it. Bonus of two, by the way. Um, all yes, right. So that would be nine. You crawl your way across the train. Yes. It ain't pleasant, but you eventually land yourself right next to the people in charge. Yes. Who are, you know, manning this train. Yes. They're are like, they... They okay. seem oblivious to the situation. In fact, the, the, when you initially bring it up, they're right away dismissive, like, ah, it doesn't matter. That episode's out of that. I'm just going to point, lean out and point towards it, but I'll make sure okay. not to hit any okay. sort of, like, okay. you know, okay. structures on the side. What the fuck is this train doing, man? What is this railroad? This is either after an earthquake or some kind of um, earth erosion. I don't... I'm, I'm scared of this train. They have to level those out a little bit. <laughs> but you it's... haven't seen the worst of it. To be honest, seeing it approaching us, it's, I kind of... I'm getting Thomas the Tank Engine vibes. Yeah, that... Watch this. Slavic train with hard pace. Alright, alright. Oh man, that's that's wobbly. <laughs> Poor guy that's inside. Holy cannoli! <laughs> Holy cannoli! Offside it. Oh. All right, all right. In the meantime, Max Dryden. The wind rushing through your hair as you slowly clamber over. You've got quite a few cars to go. This thing is long, but you can't see the offending cart now. It's a what large it goods train. A cheap looking one. That's slightly swaying side to side like a boat in the surf. Hmm. You're not quite there yet though, so you still need to roll to see if you can make it there in time. You can make it if you can. So strength again, right? Strength, yes. 
Nice. Hey. You make it close yeah. and get a good eye on things. You can immediately roll me mechanics to see if you can understand what you're looking at. Or you can wait until next turn and get a plus two to that roll. Mechanic I'll education, by the way. Turn. Okay, you'll wait until I'll your next, till next turn. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Everyone else, you've calmed everyone for now. You're able to keep them under control. So for this turn, you don't have to worry about anything. Things are fine. Hey. You're just like, oh, well, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Arthur. Don't think about it. Yes. The train man <laughs> looks at you. And wants to know what the hell you're doing here. I'm going to inform him that one of the train cars at the back is wobbling, and since we're approaching a bridge, we might want to slow down and listen until we resolve this. So we Bell, don't go who is standing in front head. of the train man you're talking to, her little assistant, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, he's, don't, don't worry about that. Always shakes a little bit. It usually calms down before we hit the bridge. And at this uh, point, you can see the bridge, it, like, around the corner, looming up. Yes, and I'm going to inform that even people who... Well, I, I assume the, uh, the stewards are traveling regularly with them, right? Yeah. They're employed by the train company. Okay, yes. I'm going to tell them that even the stewards are worried. That's why I decided to come over here, and just in case. Also, to be as far as possible from the offending car. <laughs> so, <laughs> she looks at you, and it's like, how the hell would you know that if it only just started moving? I'm literally going to pull out my credentials, and I'm going to say... Hello, mechanic. <laughs> I'm a mechanic! God damn it! <laughs> yes. Okay, well, if you want to pull out your credentials, you can roll me mechanic. Sure. Let me try to explain, like, in technical detail, I suppose, or at least try to. With intellect, please, since you're trying to be witty. Um, oh, with intellect, my intellect So what exactly do you be... want them to do? Uh, I would like them to try and slow down a little bit until this is resolved, because I'm on the radio with the person in the back. Cool. Uh, at the back. You, that will grant you an extra like turn of actions to do. Yeah. Uh, Max and if and uh, if that can't be resolved quickly, we'll just have to stop the train. But don't like you know. Uh... Oh, they're not stopping the train. It's like no, no. I got a schedule to keep, man. I want to be out. All right, there. fair enough. Well, in that case, we can you know catch up later. But for now, just slow down so we don't crash the bridge because then nobody's going to be baking any schedule. You're you're paranoid over nothing, Max. You're looking at the coupler and. To be fair, you have an option right now. You could Jesus. totally just open the latch and let the whole car fall back and block the future train routes, and you'll probably yell that a bunch. But you could also try to fix the problem, because these couplers have not... They're attached in such a way that vibration gets transmitted oddly, and they don't stabilize each other, so the train just starts swinging like crazy until it pulls the rest with them. You could quickly fix this on the go, so at the very least it'll be stable for... Well, until you reach the train station, probably. Or, as I mentioned, you can just pull the latch and let her rip. One is easier than the other. That. Hmm? Hmm? Can I judge the situation? How hard the thing would be to fix? Like, properly fixing is it is like... difficult. Just pulling the thing open is a routine check, considering that you're trained with mechanics and all. You have a plus two from observing this system move for a moment. Difficult. Okay, I'm gonna try to fix it. I'm going in for a fix. Go ahead. Some extra time. Yay. <laughs> wow. Are you? I'm gonna reroll that. I'm gonna... <laughs> He's gonna spend one of his reroll. I mean, to be fair, three. It's a magic number. I'm gonna reroll that. I can't. Okay. First and foremost, please get your 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 thing straight. Your rolling mechanic. You have a plus two. From. You know, observing it for a while. You have a minus two because I guess that's how it calculates difficult. So, keep that in mind. Education plus two. Yes. Difficult, right? Wait, can uh, I try and get over there to try to help? That out? will take you a lot of time to do, considering that he went ahead of you for a while. Unless you went with him. I know what you've been doing. Oh my fucking oh. god. Yeah. Uh, now it's a little better. Go with him. So now absolutely. a minus one means you can make it, but at a cost. Am I losing an arm? I'm a finger. <laughs> that's. Uh, I think that's a bit steep of a cost. <laughs> so that's how you play cost with fairies. So you say, "Oh no, an arm." That's that's quite steep of a cost. You're literally in a setting where, in some environments, they can regrow your arm. So well, you'll be fine. Don't worry, they grow. Back. I mean, not on this planet. Hell no. <laughs> but like a finger on... or two, I'm okay with. It. <laughs> like on a planet, you will be fine. Oh, man. Roll me a d6. We'll see how this works. 
We'll see how bad this injury gets. No oh, fuck, I forgot. Slash is in the wrong place, good sir. Uh, oh no. It happens. Oof. Oof. Oof oof oof. Oof oof. oof, 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 oof. Oops. Alright. Do you have a backup character? <laughs> no. I'm I'm highly trained in medicine. Okay. Max, you take five damage to your endurance. Or actually, you just I take five damage, which it. goes to your endurance. So, uh, put in that red box, I think, a five, and it should reduce your score effectively by five. Like a little box in the middle. There, yeah, yes, it works exactly. It did. You manage to pull it off. You, you, but in the process, uh, you know, your hands rub against this rusty metal as it shifts around. Your thumbs and fingers get stuck in place, and you get jostled around and hit your head on the other car. It's a wild, wild ride. And by the end, oh, wh that guy opened the fuck. What the hell? <laughs> and he falls on his face anyway. What an idiot! Point is, you get jostled every which way, like like a pear in the punishment box, as it were. Which Argus should probably have the gift of knowing him. But yeah, by the end of it, you're leaning against the car, but it looks fixed, and the other train starts to slowly calm down as it's now forced by the weight of the other adjacent cars to settle in. Okay, I'm just gonna let. Uh... Drop myself against a wall and just sl slowly drip down into a sit. It would be easier to do that if you get into the the to the carriage for the the cattle car first. But hey, all right, yeah, the passengers we, we, begin we, to calm down as the vibrations we... settle. Uh, Arthur, you get yelled at for being an idiot because look at that—it calmed down just like they said. I'm going to report. I'm going to be on the radio. I'm going to say, "Well, we fixed it. We can accelerate now." Ugh. Also, uh, if we're doing radios, can we make sure that everybody everybody else hears that this is a temporary fix that's supposed to get fixed at the next station? Considering so how little they care can... to even clean their windows. <laughs> who knows? But we do, we do have a rich person here who will raise a fuss for us. <laughs> can you get her to raise a fuss for you, though? I mean, after we arrive... I mean, do you really think she's going to be staying here? I'll throw on the wheel. I mean, I'm down for rolling. It's she from just... what you gathered, she's actually going home right now, so... Oh, oh good lord, enough. poor lady. Yeah, that's that. That's explaining stuff. That's why she got sent to space school. Yeah. To learn space things. It didn't work. It didn't work, daddy. <laughs> Sorry to report daddy mission. <laughs> <laughs> mission failed. Medic to try to... To try to lessen my damage. Oh yeah, there, that is a thing you can do. You can heal yourself and avoid being completely Ooh. fucked up. Let me pull up the... Where's that screen I'm looking for? Is it here? Please don't Referee get space screen. tetanus. Give me a I'm moment. I'm trying not to get space tetanus. <laughs> Thank you. But we did touch a bunch of rusty metal, yeah, so... That's what, that's what we were saying. Hmm. Oh mm -hmm, my god. Mm -hmm. Here we go. First aid. Requirements. Must be initiated within one minute of the injury incurring. Takes 1d6 okay. minutes to do. Raw education plus medic. New physical damage characteristic. Equal to the effect. So, go ahead. Show us that sexy. Okay. That is a good question. I think it's just average then. Let me look it up on the mm -hmm. other one. The actual Maboober. Medic. I got a 5 and a 6. Sweet Jesus. Uh, medic. First aid is average. Nice. <laughs> you get all your hit points back, man. You look, all that endurance is... Ooh. Yeah, you took five damage and you heal six, so you're fine. You, you, yeah. have, you have all the right disinfectants, creams, and like the special lotions for burn wounds. You wrap your fingers up so that they don't hurt so much. Like on the brand. In the army. <laughs> like on brand uh, band aids and stuff. <laughs> on brand. They weren't even discounted. Who buys discount band aids? For... Poor people love. Oh. Le gasp. Mm -hmm. After I heal myself, I'm gonna slowly make my way back. Slowly. <laughs> so. The train makes the rest of the way. Another six hours. It's a full day later. You left in the morning, you arrive in the morning. 
You can make your way back to the normal cars if you want to without any hassle. Not that dangerous now that the train isn't all shaking around. And you can take your sweet ass time. I'm That's 30 bad. or 40 years old. <laughs> My character is 30 or 40. <laughs> Yeah, I anyway, I'd like to, when we stop, I'd like to take a look at the car and see if it's something that I can fix or if it's something that they can fix. The train makes its way to town. I can join you with that one so we make a good look at it in the end. Sure. Just don't stick your hands into rusty metal. As you settle in <laughs> in the local area, the rocks, the flatness, there are some hills in the area, but the general terrain is quite flat. Mm -hmm. Lots of spiky shrubberies around. Dry and self-defensive. <sighs> Eventually, you roll into town, which looks, well, low-tech cattle town sums it up. Large swaths of farmland and, and, and feeding ranges around the area. The houses are all mostly made of wood and local materials. There are roads, but they're mostly stemmed dirt, and very few of them are anything other than that. Once you arrive... The train is stopped and you get out. Arthur, you were checking on the repairs? Yeah, once we stop, I would like to investigate the train, because if these guys are not going to take a look, at least I'm going to check, because I don't want you all to fucking crash with Rage and Dag. And I'm helping, so we're together there, looking at it. Everyone else will notice that this town is kind of weird, because there are many buildings that are empty despite being fancy and posh, and clearly there used to be some amount of finance here to afford all these fine buildings. Um, taking a look at the repairs... This is probably going to fall apart in a trip or two. After which, who knows what's going to happen to the train. Well, at the very least, I can give them a trip or two before it falls apart. Do you want to reinforce the repairs? You don't have any of the tools they would have in a proper shop, so... That's true enough. But I'm going to see if I can basically zip-tie this shit together. <laughs> sure. The good old duct tape fix. You told me the the the, 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 the the reactor will hold for two months. Yes, but that was half a year ago. <laughs> Have you not been paying attention to the calendar? I made it one of those tear-off calendars with a joke a day. I know, I know. I am a miracle worker, so. I might be dumb, but I'm not smart. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to give him two months when it's actually four months. I'm going to tell him it's going to take three hours when it's going to take one and a half. Well then, Arthur, you, you can roll me some mechanic with sure. your big brain. See if you can jostle something together. Let's take a look. Nine. Nine. Yes, and with the help, I assume. Yeah, I'm helping. S okay. Did you cool. actually lose any fingers to this? No, not, not really. yet. Fair enough. Do you roll as well for help, or? I think he's capable of doing it himself. But if he wants, you can help. Don't forget, by the way, you can always take some extra time to do stuff, but your allies might move on without you at that point. I'd like to take some extra time in this. In that case, case, your effect is three. All right, yeah. Mr. Mr. Helper, you can also roll me a mechanic. With education, since you're do unable I, do to... Do I also get, get three? If I'm spending time as well. Then you get an extra plus two, yes. The two of you are taking time, sweet-ass time, discussing things, figuring things out. All right, yes. Mr. Arthur... Your effect is four. That's pretty good. You put it together. This should last a while. depending. Considering they don't seem to drive this train all that often, this should last long enough that by the time you need to leave, it's still in working order. Okay. I'm going to go swing by the front car because I assume they're still doing some at least routine maintenance or resting up. And I'm going to tell them that they have exactly like one trip until this breaks. They maybe should nice. consider it. <laughs> consider just at least taking a look or looking for some replacement parts. Because, you know, I don't care. I might not be here, but they might actually care about staying alive. All right. That you are mostly shrugged off. That's fair enough. That's what I expected. But I warned them. If they want to hang themselves, I gave them the rope to do they, it. They just pull up a newspaper and they're like, yep, sure, bucko. I mean, they're using their own rope. Yes, exactly. While you're here, you are greeted by someone, as in a person who holds up a sign with your names on it. Hmm? Oh? In this random town? Yeah. Well, well you were invited, were so someone is expecting you. Yeah. 
It's not like the strain rolling into town was all that subtle. Mm -hmm. True. In the town of Aquafria. <laughs> Wrote a party one fine day. <laughs> oh, man. This is... Man, imagine like a Duke Nukem S character. You know, he's got the thick sunglasses, the, 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 the short-sleeved arm, the tattoo. Look at all beef and buff. You know the works. It's got the sign up. Anyone gonna Next say hello to him? They're scraped up as motherfuckers. I mean, yeah, I guess walk up to him and say hello. Hey. So, uh, taps the sign. Which one are you? Oh, uh, I'm Lisa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, to uh, party, uh, fixing a train. But, uh, the rest of us are here. Draven sure Marine. He holds out his hand. Okay. Uh, uh, Hi. I shake it. What a firm grip. Not as firm as yours, though, if you really wanted to. Actually, no, you're not that strong. Excuse me. I'm getting mixed up with uh, the, all the other people in this party with big muscles. <laughs> he has a firm handshake. Shake, shake. Yeah, I'm here for, uh, what's his name again? Willard? Um, excuse me. Sir Willard Volstaden. Security bodyguard oh. driver. Pleased to meet you. Mm -hmm. So you're probably the people I'm supposed to be picking up around here, huh? Bet it was a long ride. My Discord Looks crashed, like I'm sorry. That's alright, well, don't hi. worry about it. And in case you wondered if you heard me wrong, no, his name is in fact Dravid. Dravid? I mean, I didn't hear you at all. Here's his name in all Dravid. caps. My name's Dravid. In all caps. He's I just wrote him down I just wrote him down as dick kick him. <laughs> <laughs> Bubble gum chew him. I'm here to chew ass and chew ass. <laughs> and I'm all out of ass. No! <laughs> what will he do now? There's no way to tell. He has no plans. <laughs> he has no pants? Plans. Point is, this ah. guy. There's a little Twitch picture. plans when you have ass. There's, there's a little picture. He's, he's one of the rare NPCs in this book who has like a picture of him here. This will this will give you exactly the image. I think I've seen him on Grinder a couple of years a couple of years ago. <laughs> anyway, he's armed by the looks of it. He's like a little, little gun on his side, another gun on his <laughs> other side, wearing what is obviously like a protect suit, like a camouflaged armor. Huh? Ooh. Well then, so, I'm supposed to be taking you over to the bus. I'm supposed to be taking you over to the bus, so uh, once you're ready, you can get in the SUV over there and we can drive. <laughs> yes. Is something wrong? Nothing. 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 Really? Yeah, we're I mean, living. We're... <laughs> it... I don't think we have anything we need to do. Here? Yeah. Our plan was just kind of to head over and meet the guy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I would definitely like to exchange Space Facebook with Louise and the Southern Bell, but that's it. Ah, yes. Well, you probably gave her her share if you, uh, beforehand if you... Yeah. Yeah, so that's it. She thanks you kindly. I invite you <laughs> over. Uh, over to her father's workshop, if at any point. You feel the need to have some more conversations or maybe help out considering she's going to be busy building some fancy new things with all the knowledge she's obtained. Uh, the <laughs> Bell Princess will just walk on, ignoring you entirely, returning to the social conventions of society, in which you poor people are not to be acknowledged. Bugman vanishes. He is quite the subtle person, considering that he's picked the right time to leave without as m all that many people know, even noticing he was there. Him and his mystery explosives. Anyway... We're supposed to be going. The bus is waiting. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Vroom, vroom. Let's go. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Let's go. Uh, actually, I imagine this is an electric vehicle because it's implied to recharge with fuel cells and stuff. 
Ooh. Do they have access to those in here? Uh, well, this guy is from Offworld, so he probably has like the fancy ship, you know. Mm. Ah. Fair enough, that makes sense. Here we go. I sent a driver to pick you up. It's a, it's a nice little thing to sit in. It's a hell of a lot nicer than the train, despite being a car that's made for service utility purposes. The road up to the Vorstaten estate has been given some maintenance. It's it's fusion sealed surfaces, which means that it is buttery smooth, which makes the trips oh, all the shorter. It's only about ten kilometers. Like if you really wanted to, you could make a whole day just walking to town and walking back. Which also gives me an excuse as to how to scale this map. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I think this ought to do it. There we go. That makes it work. Oh, I think it doesn't look too bad. As I mentioned, oh, you can see. Yeah. Over you can see a variety of farmlands around you, as well as, air, as, well as grazing grounds. The Jetsons the car, yes! <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, in my Call of Cthulhu game, the gang did hijack a Scooty Puff Jr. from the Serpent Folk. <laughs> and now they get to make that sound with the little... little <laughs> You and your metro train set settings. Was that yeah. a dude standing on the train station? Yeah. What? Um, generally, you're just driving through the wilderness and there's nothing there. But occasionally you can see like deers crossing the railroad or like a bear just on the side of the road or like a dog. Or occasionally just a dude in a hat and just chilling, waiting at the station. I hope he wasn't hoping for you to stop. <laughs> well, you didn't. Yes. Um, around here... There doesn't seem to be much in terms of fencing or designation of where one person's property begins and another one stops. Open country, plenty of grazing. And Dravid happily just starts to spark up some conversation about the place. Like, you know, you know it's a nice place to live. <coughs> Got nice people, nice environment. Used to be a good economy until the weather took over and, well. There's also the fact that most people don't trust Mr. Willer too much. Can't blame them. The last mm -hmm. guy was, well. You can call him a vampire if you want, and you wouldn't be too far off. Guy siphoned this place dry and didn't leave anything left. Mm. Well, he didn't do his work all that well, is more what I'm trying to say. Not like this place would give that man anything. <laughs> People that like to live on their own. Now, Willow, on the other hand, I didn't he invite you to help out with this, uh... What was it again? This is an open question for the party, to see if they remember why they're here. I wasn't here last time. They weren't here last time. The whole party like, is in this car. The situation. Apparently he was a guy who was sent here to quote-unquote fix things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We kind of yeah. revive the economy and make this yeah. a flourishing planet. The first guy tried, he failed and left, and then Willard was the replacement. And now uh -huh. we've yeah. been sent in to help the replacement. No, Willard personally invited you to help him. Oh yeah. He, but why he then would he invite you to help him? Probably because he's doing a shit job. Actually, it's because he's ex-military and doesn't really know how to just talk to people. You know, be, sorry, being, being a, a posh little person. noble is not what he's used to. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm giving them, you know, a uh, boot camp pep talk, but they keep flipping me off, so I don't know how, how this works. Usually that intimidates people, but these guys just flip open the newspaper and just ignore me. <laughs> As you approach the estate, the estates, uh, the, the nearby grounds get a bit greener. Less yellow, to be specific. So uh, seems to be holding up a bit better, which might be because you see a very fancy high-tech mansion off in the distance. <laughs> made of... So the normal houses here are made of loose stones or wood. This thing is made out of fusion-sealed concrete. It's just what flawless. Corruption. <laughs> no, that's just how they built this thing. Like, they took their fancy future tech down here, built this house... It's also quite a secure residence. It has walls around it. It could probably hold up against a, an invasion. To be specific, good old Dravid talks about it. This place is built according to high security standards. There's a high wall around it, low surface walls on the top of the building so you can use the rooftops for extra security. Front gate locks down nicely, has a graph pad on top. <laughs> it might not look too much, but uh, tough enough to be the Duke of Tobias' bathhouse. If the locals what? are so upset about it, why don't they uh, 3D print themselves some non-prefabricated houses? In fact, <laughs> the contiguous outer wall and the gated entrance use specialized tools from the Duke of Tobias' bad house. 
Nice. Oh, if you happen to carry any ornaments, please leave them at the gu visitor's gun safe at this, the gatehouse. Not that we don't allow you to use your weapons around here, but it's better not to carry too many foreign arms inside. Makes sense. Mm. You'll be set up with standard access, Thank giving you, you access to most locations and destinations around the building. Although, of course, I won't be giving you any access to the, you know, auto-dock programming, that is. This guy sounds like he really loves his job. He opens up a little comm and goes, <clears throat> Sir Willard, bringing in those fine gentlemen he has to pick me up. We'll be there in a minute or two. Just stand outside and say hello. I like that there's grass on the on the railway track sections. That's nice. That adds some flourish. Anything you want to ask before you arrive? Or are you just like letting it happen? Uh, since we're surrendering our weapons, is it generally safe? Uh, open area, etc. What about wildlife and all that noise? Not too much to worry in terms of wildlife. Um, I imagine there are some predators, but not too many human mm -hmm. attacks. What the hell happened to that house? I just wrote what happened. I used to have a <laughs> took half in the divorce. <laughs> that, looks like, that looks like a gas tank explosion. That looks like a train just went tank. straight through it. <laughs> Probably. Pro propane bomb. You've nothing to worry well, about. The estate is well fortified, has internal arms, and if it need be, you can always just retrieve your arms and get involved with the siege that way. Makes so sense. Worry. Sure. Not to mention, your weapons can actually be maintained. Most people in town can barely take care of anything tech level 5 and higher, so your fancy laser guns will have to be maintained on site, and probably by yourself. Makes sense. Ah, yes. Other than Willard... Um, there's also the people that he happens to share the place with. That includes R R R R Rungva. She's a weird name. I just called her Ronnie. Could you tap it down? Um, yes. And let me just put it in there. It actually makes a bit more sense. Uh, she's one of those v Vrugger. V Vrugger? Vrugger? One of those dog people. Mm. She's an uh, administrator. Right. Helps out with the paperwork. Baby. <laughs> and finally, there's one more human. Uh, let me actually give you the pic. Oh, God, why do I keep putting it there? Um, this is Rungva. Rungva? Oh, a puppy! Oh, oh she's cute! Please don't. Please don't oh. treat them and oh, like I'm an not. animal. There's also this ticks. is out of character. This Tix takes care of all the electronics around the place. Make sure the whole thing stays running during those off hours. And you roll in through the gatehouse. Indeed, those three people, including Mr. Willard Forstatten, who looks... Ima like, this image does not do him justice. Imagine someone standing in a casual local outfit Oof. like this, but standing with the stiff posture of a high-ranking uh, lieutenant. Oh, God. Oh, God. He, you know, like someone standing in a military salute, but wearing a Hawaiian shirt. That's kind of the, the air he gives off. Oh god. A man who's never dad. Beauty. Um, as the car is parked, Dravid will open the door for you, letting you say hello. Mr. Forstatten is of course an acquaintance of yours, a contact or ally, doesn't matter, but he does welcome you warmly to his estate. He is quite young, nice. lively looking, a trained and accomplished individual, withstanding. Although, actually, let me just double check one quick thing. Yeah, no one here is as much standing as he does. Lisa's quite close though. But yeah, technically, in the Imperial Society, he outranks all of you. But Aww. that's just some, some, some stupid stuff. Yeah, uh, no worry, we can eat the rich too. Willard holds out his hand and wants to shake all of them. Welcome, welcome, friends. Welcome to my fine estate. It is not a beauty. Very fancy. Yeah, fanciest place we've seen so far. Mm -hmm. and, like, even the staff board was kind of bare bones. Well, with a little bit of work from all of us, Tex, Ravanga, and of course our good friend Dravid, and your help, of course, we can get everyone on board on a fine renovation and make this planet a little, little sparkling gem, the Imperium's crown. These people are living quite the hard hardships, and they need not, with the right technology, all their dreams can come true, and they can live comfortable lives instead of these ones wrought with hardship and drought and all the uncomforts. Surely you've seen what technology can do. This house is equipped with a water reclamation system. At least that's what Tix tells me. 
and d- takes just his glasses as you do. And goes, yeah, the, the the station has a reclamation system that recovers most of the water that seeps into the ground. Is able to access internal aquifers, and it has allowed us to maintain green water in the local area. As a result, mm-hmm. our two farms are doing much better than any of the surrounding ones. Good. Uh, I'm t- ticks, by the way. Hello. Awesome. I'm Martha. Ravonga remains Wait. mostly quiet. She, she, she just, she's very much one of those background advisors, you know. She's like, I'm doing the paperwork. I'm not here to talk to people. That's fine. Oh, I know who they are. Hmm? Yeah, they're Rangva. They're Varga. Also, I don't know, uh, the, the, the type of character. Ooh, okay. Yeah, what's well, also very, very interesting, and I don't know why, this is just a very quick quip on the module. Um, <laughs> Ravanga has a listed age, but for some odd oh? reason, her actual profile lists age as... Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. It's like, come on, man, you already mentioned it. Why does it put it in there? <laughs> you sillies. Point is, you're 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 invited over to this fine estate, and what an estate it is! It is imagine a fine, posh, futuristic house, and that's what you get, baby. You get the glitz, the glamour, the fancy lighting. It has a fucking fusion reactor in the basement. Damn. Damn. This it's is fancy, fancy. Airco everything. You you are you you will have no better sleep than in this fine fine place. Um, let me actually see if I can find the estate's blueprints. I should upload those at some point, but yes. This is about what it looks like. Um, I'll eventually extract this image and just use it, but here you go. As was explained, they have... They have everything going for them. There's a little garden in the back. There's the main house itself, the gatehouse, where your weapons will be stored for time being. The grav landing pad, the front door, staff quarters... There's a utility building, which is all kinds of stuff. You'll be showing around eventually, like, the, the full run of the place. But it is, like, this is all tech level 12. So, sm- oh. look at this smooth Ooh. exterior. Look at this. Like that. This house defies all contemporary structures in the area. <clears throat> okay, I take this back house? The- from local materials, though. That's neat. I like that. Take back the good things That's I nice. said about it. It is made of local materials, yes. But the technology makes it look almost foreign in construction. It is 20 years old by now, but despite that, you know, it's been able to hold up. It seems to be built after the styles of the area. Even if if the fusion sealed stone kind of takes away from that. Uh, The glass is not glass. Um, Anyone here with any combat training can tell that it is actually military-grade ceramics. Like, you need a big gun to shoot through that, or a lot of little guns. Makes sense. Uh, the walled courtyard is set up in such a way that you could, in fact, just use it as a citadel if you needed to. The the walls that's on each of the, the buildings around it would provide you cover. So you can just fucking go into a siege if you want it. It's It doesn't really breathe an aura of trust, does it? No. <laughs> How much trouble are these people expecting? Considering that they even have anti-vehicle barriers in front of the gatehouse, who knows? It's probably just standard fare, or the guy is just, oh, I'm a military guy, I'm just going to do the standard procedure. <laughs> would you bring this up with Willard or Dravit? I would like uh... to, yes. I would like to point out that this sounds a little too well protected against peasants. So, oh, no, what exactly no, 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 is... No. This is this is built according to noble... Um, um, again, he standard. might have okay. ten standing. He might be an important person, like probably knighted at the very least. But... He's also a dude from the Navy who's like, I don't want to be a noble. So you watch him try to figure it out. Uh, well, you know, they, this is just the standard kind of structure they build for our nobles and ability who are expecting assassinations and the like. But I can't imagine any that assassin wanting to come. I can't imagine any assassin wanting to come up this far. <laughs> yeah, it's it'd the be, of the universe. It'd be way easier to just fly a ship overhead and aerial bombard. Although I think this place has an aerial bombardment shield of some kind. I forgot what it was. Was it just the anti-air missiles? David, Man. I need a report oh. on what our anti-spaceship protections are again. If, if, if you want to deal with past, you know, birds and insects and animals, you might as well have an anti-air cannon. No, no, no. I, I would love to enjoy the have wildlife as, as the nobles have a tendency to do. Mm-hmm. I need to calm down and sit. And he says that while standing with his hands behind his back in a stiff posture. Oh my gosh. 
Well, I'm not gonna like criticize him. He's trying. I'll, I'm gonna let him do his thing. Oh yes, of course. And you will be provided with the security access to most rooms and chambers, public ones at the very least. You will be assigned your own bedrooms. If you wish to have a shared bedroom, that can also be arranged. Um, we have a landing pad for ground vehicles, but as it stands, I really only have those service utility vehicles at the moment. Excellent. Uh, he even shows you around like the utility space. Like uh, here, for example, oh. we have uh, quite some sophisticated equipment. We mm. have. Let me just double check this so that I can give you the proper information. Estate is distinctly run down. I mean, it, the the building, by the way, while it is in good shape, does need some weeding. There are overgrown. There are, are ivies growing on the smooth surface. There are lots of bushes and things that have sprouted up that could use a little bit of cleaning. Maybe maybe scrub the the exterior windows and walls a bit. You know, give it a proper polish, man. Put some spit yes. into it. I could do it. Uh, okay, where are the... Okay, no, that's... Okay, <sighs> that's why I'm being stupid. I'm at the wrong place to look this up. Um, due to the way this thing works, it has essentially limited power and nearly inexhaustible water supply because of the reclamation systems that run all over the place. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, even has food and water for weeks. It has an internal bunker in the reactor. Like, if you go into the fusion reactor and seal the door, you basically have a bunker you can send for a while. It's... It, on one hand, he appreciates the military mind it is, but at the same time, you can tell from the way he talks. It's like, I miss the days when that was necessary. And the estate has a comms room. Mm -hmm. uh, this has the usual vast data storage that most starships come equipped with, which is basically a mini internet, a massive encyclopedia. You every spaceship, by the way, comes with a free Wikipedia. Like, bam. Ooh. If you As were they should. if you were travelers with a starship, you would have a Wikipedia. You could look up most basic information with or do research on. Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia that anyone can anyone edit. Anyone can edit. <laughs> anyone here have electronics comms or electronics in general? Yes, yes. one character does. Somebody uh, does. I have comp sensors and comps in it. Yes. Okay, since you have both, and they're both like, I'll just tell you this. He points at this thing as like, oh, this is a uh, data system. It, it does basic data stuff, and I think it can contact the starboard. You look at this for enrollment, and you realize. This thing is hooked up to a weather system and apparently can also request... A lot of starships have negotiations and deals with starports where they have a surface camera that just takes pictures of the planet. Mm -hmm. You could do a lot with this if you wanted to make weather reports or just scans of the area and find resources or things. Like, you have access to space-based pictures and weather satellites that are orbiting the place. Like, you, can do, you can do stuff with this if you want. So not only have your Wikipedia, you also have Google Maps. Yes, and indeed you can contact the local port authority and even the downport. Like, strong receiver on this thing. Fair enough. Let's not bother them for now, probably. I mean, no one else is using it. Uh, you also sold the basic workshop, which is <laughs> indeed enough to maintain and service most tech level 12, maybe even 13 things, if you were a little bit mm -hmm. crafty Damn. about it. Uh, you, could make it, you could use it for vehicles, weapons, whatever you need, really. You could also use it to make small, high-end electronic components and the like, you know. Sounds like a plan. You could, you could... Tamagotchi. You could, you could start your own little factory here if you wanted to. It wouldn't be too big, you know. But hey. Makes hey, sense. They're universal enough you can make another one and another one. And I don't know, at some point you just get Grey Goo. Be careful. As he mentioned, he has four utility vehicles and two transport vehicles. The transports are the one with the open end. So, bunch of cars. He's not quite sure why he has this many since, you know, he's just four people right now. <laughs> but he thinks... Uh, maybe, I think... that's, maybe that was just the standard compliment. Or they were expected to have more people. I think these places are meant to be staffed by 20 to 20 people, but... I've been mm -hmm. having difficulty recruiting locals to come here. Well, anyway, uh, these are here. I guess they're good for something. I really only have Dravid use one of the SUVs for bringing back and forth, so... Safi, I have electronic remote ops. What can I surmise from this? What can I take stock of? What do you mean? Uh, in a sense, what this skill in particular would be useful for here like the cameras the turrets the all, all that sort of if stuff if you wanted to you could probably make yourself a little drone like it doesn't have any drones right now but how about mm -hmm. you roll me one remote ops yeah remote ops with int let's see make it's, it a routine uh, it's not too hard to notice this but That's you might miss it yep. Ten. one of these cars has a drone system built in it has an automatic like you could one of these cars you could hook up to a comm device or a control panel mm -hmm. and you can drive it remotely Oh, that makes sense. All right, fair enough. It's a subtle, it's a subtle touch. You wouldn't notice unless you were looking for it. But you're like, hey, mm -hmm. that car drives can be driven without a driver. Useful if you want to transport one extra person for some reason. Yes. Um, or if we need to pick somebody up and they are not in a condition to drive. Uh, Willard shows you that he has some weapons around the place, and it, 
He's like, again, most nobles are like victims of kidnapping or assassinations. And all I can think about is the fact that I would love to be part of a kidnapping or assassination, but I probably won't be. Unless it's the uh, locals, and I don't like that. Hit me after hours, we can roleplay. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Willard, You're by going the way, for it. You're shooting your shot, huh? Oh, man, I can't. At least he's not the bugman who's immediately like, ah, human, you wish to romance me. Fuck you. No, <laughs> this is this this is a joke. Unless. <laughs> <laughs> Unless Flutter's eyelashes. No, I, it's, I, I just I just do it the same way. I always make that sort of jokes. I'm just stone faced. Mm. He does. He does go like, I'm always ready for a fight, though. He has a dress sword on him like he's well armed. A nice goss pistol, which is pretty impressive nice. thing to own. Goss pistols, by the way, ignore some armor and can shoot very quickly. They're remarkably mm. deadly firearms. Yes. To just be ca carrying casually. But, you know, he, he, his posture's so stiff, I don't think casual can fit anywhere in his dictionary right now. Uh, there are There is a room which he calls the gun room, which is the small little study area that he's yet to decorate with anything. Uh, in mm. it, he has revolver with a telescopic sight, long barrel. He was given it as a gift, and you just see him look at it like, I just, oh, it just puts it right back. Right on top of a box of bullets that come with it. <laughs> I got. He wants to know where I got Probably that one. Probably one of from. those souvenir ones. Excuse me. Have any one of you ever gotten a gift from someone you really don't like, and you can't help but feel that there was a subtle context to it? Yes. Explain, please humor me. <sighs> In character and out of character, my family has given me creative gifts that were more mockery than anything. There's, as you explain, there's sympathy, there's shoulder pats. <laughs> um, there are also some hunting rifles with fancy scopes on them. Ooh. There's also a bunch wow. of ammo for everything. There's some shotguns, some locally made revolvers and carbines, which is like, oh, I got some gifts from people. How nice. But anyway, yes. I invited you here for the specific reason to help. Um, what did you call it again, uh, Rovaka? It's like bolstering our connections with oh, yeah david moraine and ravanka both have their ages mentioned here 41 mm -hmm. and 58 but for some reason it doesn't mention why doesn't it mention it on the sheets how did this go wrong like Tix has his mentioned i don't get this he's 26 by the way ravanka's for 58 david is 41 yeah. which is pretty old for a driver <laughs> they didn't they didn't have me to proofread all their shit they should have higher higher como and stab him in the chest with my finger to pyre this man now but yes, his staff is just these people, and he's like, I invited you to help reconnect with the locals and establish a, a fondness of the Imperium. And of course, more importantly, once we have that, we can begin technologically enhancing the situation. And maybe, maybe, once I've gotten some friendships, I can do something more exciting than sitting around this place feeling bad for myself. Makes sense. Now then. Um, how are you liking Gore so far? The weather, the people... We nearly died hot. on a train. A little yeah, hot on the so end. And we but nearly I had a spaceship AC. crash into us. <laughs> so that was stressful. Infrastructure so can definitely use some work. Yeah, but I suppose that's kind of why we're here. You mentioned the ship. I remembered what happened last session. And I'm sitting here, I assume, both in character and out of character, like with a glass of water just like halfway to my mouth, and I'm the only one here in the spacesuit. I'm like, oh, that would have sucked. <laughs> but not for me! <laughs> Damn space boy. Well, I'll have to undress. I can't walk around in this all the time. Now, uh, Safi, just for the sake of reference, how long does it take to get in and out of the uh, HEV? Probably a couple of minutes. Makes sense. It, there's all kinds of seals that need to be tightened, <laughs> clamps that need to be fixed. There's also, <laughs> of course, not... the, the there's also the checklist, as engineers like to call it, the checklist yes. with capital letters. Yes. Capital T, uh, capital C. That, that that reminds me of a, um, uh, what was it again? Rushed helicopter start that lost twenty minutes <laughs> because of all the checkups. Oh, by the way, uh, since you were asking about drones earlier, um, yes. Tix does. Uh, point out that this place does have a variety of cleaning, maintenance, and steward robots. So, 
Maybe Makes you could sense. grab a Roomba and put a knife on it and <laughs> drive it into someone's uh, yeah, ankles. Yeah, and I'm gonna yes, I'm gonna name him Private Stabbies, and then every time he actually stabs someone uh, by accident promotion. or otherwise gets a promotion. Yes, we're gonna have a colonel who ranks everybody here, <laughs> which is just a Roomba with a knife. The social standing of this robot is thirty. He outranks even the imp. The imp. What's even the emperor. Emperor, the emperor is below him. This is the new, the 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 Roomba's charging station is the new seat of the Imperium. <laughs> Stabby is the actual Take that, Earth. Like, leader of gore. <sighs> yes, but yeah, I I'll try to fiddle with that and maybe optimize and just make them do their job. So clean up the place. <sighs> well, um, I guess that's most of it. Oh, there, there is still the fact that I own two farms in the area. I own the West Farm and the High Farm, and we've gotten along mm -hmm. well enough so far. Honestly, I wish I could... All right, hold on, what do you mean get on well if you own them? Locals are stuffing them, and there might not be Locals, exactly yeah. like yeah, like the only people from House for Stout and his Noble House are the people here, the four people here. All right, Richie that Clinton. makes sense. So yeah, it's like makes sense. I'm I'm kind of in the in 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 a backwater place, and I don't like it. I'm very very scared. Please help me. That that's fair enough. I'll do my best. What is At what is this gunpowder? Why isn't it smokeless? <laughs> By the way, it took me a long while to realize that gunpowder is not the same thing as smokeless powder. Yes. Oh, bud. The black oh, powder buddy. and the smokeless powder. And all the other noise. It's pretty they're good. Two other they're two different powders, hon. You've I got know. it. You've got it. Yeah, but... They're... But... You... but, but just... Nobody ever no. makes it clear. I know. They never do. And you... then you have to like find out 19 years later or something by accident. Anyway. At this point, Anyways. at this point, we're gonna call it for today. I'm gonna write All down right. some, some. I'm gonna make a little little thing for you. That's like, hey, here's some suggestions for things you can do, which are like ideas from the guys who live at this place. You know, like, hey, go visit these guys, shake some hands, or go to the local saloon, buy some drinks. Like, your job is to give this man credibility, connect him to the society around him, make them trust him, and give him some confidence. You know, that he can be a leader of the people instead of <laughs> some dudes who got hired. Thanks for the notes. This is more extensive than mine, so I'll just... Dizzy's notes do not have capital letters, but they work. That's fine. Dog person who does the paperwork. I mean, I gotta write quick to keep up with the sappy pace. I'm fast as fuck. I, I, I have the... to write fast, but words too slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, uh, anyway. also, yeah, Safi, logistically, do we have access to a few outfits of our own? Or do we have to, like, just buy them? Uh, since time. you are shipless travelers, I presume you have m your most of outfits you own and stuff already with you. Like you have everything in travel bags with you. Excellent. Yeah, we, we've got Eat. luggage. Additionally, uh, with the equipment that's around you, you could make your own outfit if you really wanted to. Physical oh. and mental. Luggage, Excellent. I mean. So yes, I'm gonna write down some suggestions for things you can do. You can do whatever you want, really. If you have your own plans of like how to do this, like you want to organize a lottery or something, go ahead. If you want to use the technology and build a gray goo and take over the planet that way, sure. We can I'll see how that works some... out. I'll write down some things that I would like to do. I would also yeah, like I'll to point out that I'm not giving you the best ideas. There are better ideas that can help in better ways, but I'm not telling you those. Those are those I'll leave for you to find out. Mm -hmm. yes. Please, if you'll get any ideas, by the way, write them out as well so that I can properly prepare for them. <laughs> it tends to yeah, I'll, I'll DM you. No, no, put them in like the player notes or something. Oh, fair enough, so we don't overlap. Sure. By the way, enough. Dizzy wants thanks for more ones for ticket notes. Always helps. Yay, yeah. I'm helpful. Thank you, Dizzy. I love that you wrote on Erica in an incredible, in an act of incredible confidence. Just stood there. <laughs> Fuck. She ain't gonna miss it. She isn't gonna miss it. We can use it. 